some background music going while we get ready, because we're jumping right into plot today, which means we're going to give it a minute before we start. And the easiest way to do that is to, you know, just have a little chill and a chat before we get too into this. Let me get the chat up and running, and we'll get some background music going while we start. Could we pop on? What's a good bit of background music to do today? What am I in the mood for? Let's go mass effect soundtrack. That'll do for a minute while we get started. Hey, Artisynth, how are you? Just getting ready on my end. Oof, Mass Effect Trilogy original soundtrack. Yeah, that'll do. The bit of background music as we get going. Take a minute to make sure I have everything else set up. Oh, what a day, what a day, what a day, what a day. Ah. I have some fun things I can show off today. Just, just a little, a little tiny tease of some things. Let me have a look. Yeah, I can, I can, I can tease this. This is your reward for being here at the start as the stream is just getting up and, up and running today. I've been working on art for a new podcast with the lovely Arevia that we are doing soon. We've been preparing for this podcast for a little bit. I have maybe not the final version, but some uh, a nice little mock-up of what the uh, pod podcast logo is maybe going to be, which I'm I'm super into. I'm real real happy with the direction it's going. Hey, Active Criticism, congrats. I'm glad that the, the thing worked today and informed you I was live. Hurrah. Well done, Twitch. You you did your job today. Right. We'll give it a couple of minutes before we jump in. Because I don't want to jump straight into narrative before people have had a chance to arrive. But how is everyone doing? I've had a... I've had a busy old day today. It's been a day of... I've been writing an accessibility uh, accessibility review for a game that isn't going to be... A review's not going to be out until, like, end of next week. But for various scheduling reasons, I had to get on it real early. But I did a big review writing and recording today. Um, been working on art for a podcast. That's always exciting. go we've you know what screw it we've got a couple of people here i can recap people if needed we're just gonna jump in we're gonna go to plot we're gonna let the game start happening i'm eager i am eager for game today it is it is one of those days uh darwin c uh I have no real reference point in my head for what for how long ago that was, but I'll try and give you the gist as best I I know what's going on. Uh hopefully this will catch you up. Um basically the the uh, the yakuza in Japan are working with Bryce, the leader of the cult in Hawaii, to ship a bunch of Japan's nuclear waste to Hawaii secretly. And basically, like, use a religious island as a dumping ground for nuclear waste for profit for all involved at the expense of the ex-Yakuza who are probably going to get horribly ill from radiation sickness. We've been trying to save Ichiban's mum and a girl called Lani who is meant to be the next in line to be in charge of that religion and Bryce sort of faked being in charge. So, like, he's trying to get her killed because sh she could go like, hey, you're not supposed to be in charge of the religion and kind of fuck things up for him. Um... We successfully got Ichiban's mom and Lani to Japan, so they are in Japan now, uh, relatively safe from the people who were trying to kill them. Now we're just right at the end. We gotta go stop the people in Hawaii, stop the Yakuza in Japan. Uh, Active Criticism, I'm I'm glad you enjoyed this week's Dice Funk. I've been really enjoying the current arc, the 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 Riddle Riddlefish religion arc. 
I'm very proud of it. But yes, that's the Please that's the gist. Japan. Hopefully, that about gets Can't you caught say I'm up. Used to that yet. Same for me. Still, to see the Seiryu clan so openly transition to a non-profit and even be welcomed by the public. Well, I've never seen a chairman do that before. So many Please. riddles. I'm just thinking of the future. Nonsense. Oh, and this, this man might be no might be Ichiban's half brother, maybe. Here, here. That might be part of why he didn't like Ichiban. He might be Ichiban's half brother. Stay small or go underground. And now we're basically endorsed by the country. Finally, there's another way out. The Yakuza have been aiding this country for decades. Ever since all that chaos snaked its way in after the war. This is the evolution of that. Better yet, I'd say it's exactly how things should be. Absolutely. It might even help the world to see the truth that the Yakuza are still needed. A necessary evil, if you will. Yeah. We'll take our rightful place at the heart of it all. Secure our legacy for years to come. <laughs> the future of the Yakuza is looking real bright. Hell, it's brighter than I mean... ever before. I mean, yeah, if you can get yes, the government to basically sign off on what you're doing, that is great as organized best. criminals. I'm counting on you. Now then, let's call it a day. Thank you, everyone. The government are so like, oh, we'd love to restart nuclear generators. We won't ask questions about where the nuclear I thought I told nuclear you gunk is going. Oh. <laughs> you know, Sorry. it's one of the few reasons they will they will anyway, work with the Akers. Oh, you'll get yeah. rid of our nuclear goop. Thanks. You keep doing what you're doing. Arasaki. You're definitely Hello. above board. Sir? I wanted to discuss some personnel changes. Oh no. A Sawashiro bean. Uh I was gonna say is he being Honestly, I'm ashamed. Discovered? Only Yakuza filth would resort to a cheap tactic like this. Still, if you want to let your hate run wild, well, a knife in the back's just the thing. Nope. I, I guess he's killing this guy. No effort. Maximum suffering. <laughs> the future of the Yakuza? <laughs> that was a pipe dream from the start. When the trash is full, the only thing left to do is take it out. <laughs> yeah, he's all this time they've put their trust in. He's me. trying to he's trying to and be in charge of the Yakuza so that he can basically get them all killed off. It's almost tragic. Isn't it, Sawashiro san? Oh, there he is. I was hoping you'd live long enough to see it. The only future your kind have waiting. Yeah, Sawashiro, uh, over there, the beat-up guy, genuinely does want the Yakuza disbanded, and Ebina, the other guy, is like, Yeah, I want the Yakuza gone, but, like, I want to kill them all. I want every one of them to die for my financial profit. Oh, yeah, Kiryu is being framed for allegedly wanting to restart the Yakuza and attacking rival factions. VTubers has ruined Kiryu's life again, trying to trying to frame him as a some kind of evil crime warlord. Now then, it's been about a week since the incident. Could you tell us more about the people who attacked the Seiryu clan offices? Well, firstly, it should be said that this marks a historic shift for the Yakuza world. A few years ago, the Tojo clan and the Omi Alliance, for decades the Yakuza's two biggest players, mutually disbanded. Among those in the trade, this event was labeled the Great Good Dissolution. <laughs> the largest remaining Yakuza group thereafter was the Seiryu clan who, of course, was the target of last week's attack. Right, and? And now, the same Seiryu clan, the current frontrunner, has taken up the torch to disband every other group still in Japan. Yes, I see. That I certainly mean, does sound historic. But the real question I mean, they're is... Not, they're doing that by recruiting people to the Yakuza! To ask. At the very least, it does seem unrealistic. 
However, as a first step to seeing it through, the clan officially confirmed its disbandment to the police just the other day. So the torchbearers took initiative, set an example to the group still active. Correct. Additionally, the Seiryu clan also aims to reintegrate former members back into society. They mean to implement an occupation support program. The Chigata, that is indeed a VTuber. Group, it seems. If this is your first awareness of like Dragon Infinite Wealth, a very large part of this game's plot is VTubers are evil and will ruin your career by cancelling you and making up allegations to cancel you. Um, evil VTubers using editing tricks and, and fucking uh, uh, AI generated videos to ruin your life is a big part of this game's plot. And in order to Can't trust them fucking VTubers. They've <laughs> since reformed into a non-profit. Naturally, as the country can't just openly cooperate with organized crime. Of course, while it may be a means to an end, it does show how serious the Siryu clan's taking things. Let's not forget, they did disband. It's also expected that the other Yakuza groups across the country will follow suit, leading this movement to now be called the Second Great Disillusion. Now, some out there won't take too kindly to this, as you might have guessed. And there's a spark. The connection to the incident at the Siryu... No! Kiryu genuinely uh, wants so the Yakuza to disband! They were responsible for the attack? Looking at those involved, yes. It seems highly likely. Speaking of... Damn VTubers! The man pictured here is the one they call Kiryu. It's suspected he's the central figure of those opposing the Yakuza's disbandment. Kiryu is supposed to be dead. How is the Dai how is the Daidoji upset that like he almost talked to his like daughter and grandson? But they're like, ah, oh, the the six o'clock evening news is talking about Kiryu being alive. Yeah, that's fine. We can let that slide. Really? And just who are we dealing with here? The Daidoji is so inconsistent in their policing of his you have to pretend to be dead. Groups in Japan. He's one of its former chairmen. In short, a true blue Yakuza big shot. Rumor is, Kiryu wants anything but disbandment, which can only mean- He literally he helped Yakuza disband the, the Tojo clan and the I Omi see. Alliance. Well, the first great disillusion he was in charge of. The so-called hero of Yokohama, that being one Ichiban Kasuga. He too has been in the news of late, after forcing former Yakuza to commit theft under the guise of reacclimating no, to society. No, re he was reacclimating them to society. Also a former Tojo clan member on top of that. As it stands, there's a good chance he's acting under Kiryu's command, a cog in his machine. Therefore, we're looking at a unique conflict. In one corner, the Siryu clan, who seek to tear down tradition- This is literally the opposite of what's happening! And in the other, Kazuma Kiryu, oh. who aims to revive the old ways for his own interests. No! He a wants out! He literally wants out ideas. of the Yakuza! He would like it if he never had Thank to be involved in this bullshit ever Following again. The, attack, the culprits promptly went into hiding. As citizens remain frightened, it is imperative that these assailants be found as soon as possible. Oopsie doodle. Kiryu and friends, you have really not done a good job of PR on this. But here we are, we're finally ready to go do the end of this game. We're right right there, ready to do the end. Is is this the finale? We're, we're real gearing up for the finale. Basically, we, we're gonna have all ten party members together to talk about the state of things. Then we're gonna go to Hawaii and do the finale in Hawaii, and then come back to Japan and do the finale in Japan. So, this is everyone huddle up and assess the state of things, and then we go do the two finales. We are, we are right there. Doesn't seem like people know you're here. Aizen is back, that is, that is classic Davo, right? With all that's happened, this was the best place I could think of. Hey, it, it, what's it, reverse order, control. victim and offender? That being said, I never thought I'd see you back here again. <laughs> you even brought friends this time. Our apologies, Chief. We really appreciate it. Now, Dalvo's an acronym. I forget what the first two are, but it's rever uh, it's it's a gaslighting tactic. The, the 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 last three letters of it stand for reverse victim and offender. You take the person who's done something wrong and the person who was wronged and try and spin it that's the other way around that the victim is the abuser and the abuser is the victim. Um, I forget what the DNA stand for off the top of my head. The world outside says you're a criminal. You certainly got the face for it. But I'll tell you, 
I only ever trust what I see for myself. I've seen a lot. You're not the kind of man to shake things up. Thank you. Still. Thank you, Chief of the Homeless Camp. Terrifying. Who's only ever referred to as Chief? I wish I could <laughs> you refer to you by a name. Thank you, sir. When the time comes, I'll be sure to repay you. Deny, it might well, be deny attack, well, reverse, vi yeah, back. deny attack, Should reverse it, victim and offender. That that sounds right to me. Deny, I think, is the first letter. She really helped us out. Thanks for doing all this, Kasuga. No, I can't exactly say we're in the clear, but we're lucky to have a safe zone, especially with the world watching. Yeah, and plus, we can't stay hidden forever. Nebina's moving quick. Once the waste disposal project on LA Island's in motion, countless Seiryu clan members will be exploited. We need to act before Ebina gets the chance. Right. <laughs> Who's calling ya? <gasps> oh shit. The villa- the final boss is calling. It's been some time, Kasuga-san. Miss Japan, did we? Ah, uh, no, I'm in Hawaii, <laughs> still. Wait, how'd you know I was here? <laughs> and I thought you wouldn't be surprised. But no matter. I got reports from Dwight's men, just as you were off and on your way. Bryce and I are still business partners, you know. Anyhow, Kiryu-san's there with you too, yes? Uh, no. <laughs> and what if he was? What do you want, Ebina? Kiryu-san. Don't you mean, That's don't you mean Joryu? With all his resources, Ebina probably knew we'd meet up. <coughs> Glad you see how it works. And with that, I've got some great news for you. Our Yakuza rehabilitation program was approved. Just yesterday, the government gave us free reign to see it through. Well, isn't that nice? So what? You call us just to get your kicks or something? Of course. The least I can do is share. Okay, the so we've. With it's now or never to stop. Good. Stop these two villains. We're gonna have to do the end of the game like right now, or we never do Actually, it. Actually, there's one other thing. Thought perhaps you'd want to know. Huh? It seems I've caught myself a rat. And I must say, it's a big one. Oh, Sawashiro. Should appreciate this. Oopsie, our guy on the inside got caught. Did you really think I wouldn't notice his betrayal? Of all people? Knowing his intentions, I let him roam free until the proverbial ball started rolling. In fact, sawashiro san was quite instrumental in gathering our colleagues. They poured in blah, blah, blah. What do you plan to do with him? Are you still set on taking revenge against the Yakuza? I doubt you'd make this kind of display otherwise. Who would? Revenge? <laughs> Who's to say? My reason for this is simple. I could think of no better bait to reel you in. You wouldn't leave him to die, would you? It's not in your character. Don't worry about me. Apologies. Now, <gasps> if you all would please come to the top floor of the Millennium the Tower. The top floor of Millennium yeah. Tower, where like 90% of final boss really fights in the Yakuza series take place. Plain and simple. If anyone ever rents the top floor of Millennium Tower for an extended period of time, they are going to be the villain of, of a Yakuza game. Like, the cops should just arrest anyone who tries to rent the top floor of, of that fucking tower. Baiting us with a hostage. Guess he wants us out in the open. Yeah, we know the truth about his plans. That's the last thing he wants. This guy must be special. What with Ebby not holding him like that, right? It's our hero, I mean. No way! You could just ignore that. I mean, we got the talent, don't we? So, let's go save him. No, Abira's not the only issue here. Not with what's happening overseas. We got, we got to split up. We got, to, we got two finales to do. As just announced, the Seiryu clan, now known as Oh, they will be shirtless on the top floor of the Millennium Tower. I guarantee it. Has been officially approved by the Japanese government. It is believed the government and Bleach Japan had been coordinating their plans behind closed doors for some time. Okay. A week prior to the announcement, a cruise ship carrying former Seiryu clan members left Japan for Honolulu. <sighs> the ship arrived in the city just earlier today. On location, Hawaii's governor and Bryce Fairchild... Okay, yeah, so everything's going down. 
welcomes the vice representative of Bleach Japan, Eiji Mitamura, as he stepped ashore. Oh, oh and there's Eiji. Yeah. The first wave's already there. The ship is scheduled to depart for Nelly Island to Am Eiji, Eiji. They're bringing the Yakuza to the island tomorrow. Once they touch down, neither the state of Hawaii nor the Japanese government will care what happens next. They'll have wiped their hands clean, and that'll be that. And from there, they'll work as priceless slaves, dumping nuclear waste till the day they die. What a joke. We don't have a lot of time, not for Japan or Hawaii. What's the call? We split up and we take them down. We split up. It might be dangerous. We can't let either one go. Kazuga. We've got we've got enough My people for two RPG here. parties and then you two extra spare party line. members. Uh, we can do this. Any reason? Actually, I'd like a word with him. There's some speculation, of course. But it's about Ebina's origins. His what? We can talk outside. I'll be waiting. So yeah, this is our last chance to like build up some of these relationship uh. links quickly. Such as finally having a face-to-face -face conversation with Sayako, who hasn't spoken to us for like a year and a half or two years. And has ignored any attempt we've made to like, you know, reach out and like drop a text or something. Sachan. Thanks. Uh no. Okay, no no conversation with Sayako yet, other than go go talk to Kiria, but we'll we'll it'll happen. We'll We'll definitely, we'll definitely get to have a conversation with her. Months after, well, years at this point after the proposal. Kiryu yes. Yeah, sure. Fill me in, Kiryu. What's what's the search? What do you want to tell me? Ebina and I are brothers. How how many secret family members can Ichiban learn he has? Because like the first game, he learned. Oh, um, t turns out Arakawa is my dad. This game, oh, my mom's still alive and she's in Hawaii. Oh, I also have a brother. We're up to three secret family members. Like, how many, like, oh, I have, I have, a, next Yakuza game, I have a sister. If what Daigo said is true, then, yeah, you'd be half-brothers. Assuming you're Arakawa's son. Still isn't clear. There's no black or white for a Yakuza. Only the boss makes that call. And you're sworn to go along with it. Mebina probably didn't care much for that line of thinking. That's my guess, at least. The Hikawa family patriarch, that being Mebina's grandfather, forced the marriage between his daughter and Harakawa. He never won Secret his evil twin in the third game. I would love to see evil Ichiban. Asserted his love for Akane-san. That same man tried to have him killed. Why was Ikawa angry? Because his daughter was shamed. Well, how go well, it goes well, though, I see. It's because he made the call, yet Arakawa made his own. For all the man had, Ikawa just couldn't let that go. And the result? Maybe not lost the father, while his mother could only go so far. He was born of the Yakuza, and that would follow him the rest of I his I mean, life. that justifies having a bit of a hatred of the Yakuza. I can't blame him. I've seen similar tragedies happen countless times. I even had the chance to change those old ways once or twice. I was the fourth head of the Tojo clan, but even then... Yeah, I you could have used past. your time... You could have been in control and, like, fixed things. Instead, you were like, cool, I'm head of the Tojo clan. So I give up being head of the Tojo clan. Step up and take responsibility. Ebina's made his choice. If it I turned out Majima was Ichiban's uncle, I would fucking lose it. Well, out of the question. I know that. Regardless, I don't want him to stray past the point of no return. If he goes any further with this, that'll be it. So I'll give all I have to stop him. Kiryu, you're getting a bit itchy, Barn. You're, you're trying to believe in the best in it's people and not just punch your way through a problem. 
I've been part of this since the beginning, after all. Look at you believing he can be redeemed. And with that, Kasuga, I'm leaving everything else to you. No matter what era you're in, there's always someone who breaks the rules and strays yeah. from the rest. Ichiban, you are now the protagonist of the Yakuza series. People just like us. Kiryu is, is done now. For good, for reals, it is. Those people deserve a place to call home. A chance to keep going. Can I ask you to give that to them? Me? I'll take on the Yakuza's past. But you... I want you to handle their future. Kiryu is the protagonist of the past. Kiryu, uh, Ichiban will be the one of the future. This is, I really it's like over. this game's handling of like, just like that. passing of the torch. You realize what you're asking me to do here. He's but... passed the torch a few times in this, but I appreciate that Anyhow, they are being as direct about it. Of, hey, something. that guy you loved from the first six and a bit you know, games. I Hello work for all kinds of reasons. He really is see it's handing really handing it over. Of the same future you do. Come on, let these boys kiss. Kasuga. They, they're so good for each other. Sad. I'm, I'm sorry for giving me. I do have one thing I gotta ask of you. Hmm. Don't go throwing your life away. Ebina's gotta be stopped, and you may be short on time. But don't treat this like it's the end. Don't go in assuming you're gonna Here die. Son, you gotta live. Live, survive. You live every last second you can. When you go, you go out strong. I won't let you otherwise. Once this is over, I'll need help cleaning up all this dissolution business. I mean, come on. You were a part of it too, right? All right. Uh, make, a make a promise, make a plan. You gotta come back, because we're fine. gonna do Dude. stuff together after. <laughs> well, you live this long, you're bound to hit a surprise or two. And hey, I'll bet there's more to come, right? Right. I'm sure. <sighs> yeah. No doubt. All right. Now, I've got a lecture for you. What? What has Ichiban ever done wrong? Back that need lecturing. Just what did you tell Saiko? It must have really been something to set her off like that. Uh, a cat made entirely out of urine says, As a newbie to Yakuza games, the whiplash between the game taking itself seriously and not taking itself remotely seriously at the drop of a hat makes me very disoriented. It's either going to be for you or not. It's, it's one of those things. The Yakuza series will either be like, it's a lot, I can't, I, I don't get it, I can't handle it, or it will be, it's a very specific mix of feelings, and it's weird, but I love it, this is my thing now. Like, if it gets, if you give it a chance to get its claws in you, you end up going, well, there's nothing else that does this, so now I guess I play Yakuza games. <laughs> He's still pissed at me. Huh. Oh, this is about his engage his his proposal you to Sayako. To her, didn't you? Uh, I did. He did. <laughs> and she turned me down <coughs> hard. He did. I even talked it out with Namba and Adachi san and apologized to her a time. Yeah, she's spent a year and a half just not responding to a single text from Ichiban, oh, which kinda sucks. Like, there was no just let's move on from it. Don't be so pathetic. I'm sure. Like, well, I, I'd love some advice. I, uh, actually, uh, never mind. Yeah, taking. You don't seem like a, a ladies' man. Really? And what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I, I mean, you're a good dude. Well, give me some credit. <laughs> I've been around a few times. Wait, have you really? <laughs> Sheesh, I, I'm sorry. I, I just didn't expect. Did, did you expect Kiryu so the Forever version? You actually proposed and stuff. Of course. For real? What all you say? 
you know, for reference <laughs> and stuff. Hmm. When I proposed. Actually, I said I love you. And that was about it. Yeah. That was mine. It was I love, I love you and this is a really nice perfect day. Will you marry me? It wasn't a big deal, it was just uh hmm. Idiot! Why do I gotta be such a dumbass? Oh. Hey, what's gone into you? Hey, sorry guys. We got an emergency. Uh-huh. Well, hello? Hi! The heck are you? You're from the Daidoji. You really made a mess of it now, Kazuma Kiryu. Oh, it's the- it's the no, Daidoji! No, uh, Terra, hey Terra, Terra in the Twitch chat says, Great Dice Funk, Barbella did everything perfectly and she still got screwed over. Um, yeah, I'm, I, like, I love this current arc of Dice Funk, I know I keep saying it, I love this current Dice Funk arc a lot. It's, it's the perfect mix of, even if things go wrong, I'm having a blast the entire time. Uh, standby orders. You went and yeah, no, he, he didn't say I love you. He For anyone who wasn't around for the proposal, it was... He and Sayako had one nice date. It was admittedly a very good date, but it was their first date. And then he went straight into, will you marry me? Um, no, there was no in-between. <laughs> Famous. Last I checked, you're supposed to be dead. Yeah, sorry about that, Daidoji. This is a serious breach of agreement. But I don't really... I can't help that a VTuber is stalking me, sir. That all said, the truth of the matter is, you've done some great work. In addition to securing your target, Akane, you also protected the key figure. Will you let me see my my daughter and grandson, if I've been good? You even brought them safely to Japan. You've I've been I've been very good. Will, and you're a superb fighter. Furthermore, Ichiban Kasuga calls you a friend. No one else would have what it takes to pull this off. You make it sound so official, like all that was according to plan. No, far from it. But after everything, you've certainly made things convenient for us. Cool, can I can I see my kids? Can I see the orphans? No? Cool. The same on our end. But didn't the Japanese government officiate that? Aren't you with them? You seem to misunderstand. Far as government goes, our allegiance lies with the Citizens Liberal Party. However, four years ago, with Ryo Aoki's failures, the CLP quickly lost trust and therefore the race. Which means the current government is our political enemy. Sounds like you just want to drag them down. Just, just, just Push let, just let like Kiryu see like one of his orphans. Is that it? Make of it what you will. Now, you'll have to travel in secret, so we've got a private jet waiting. And that's how we explain them all getting back to Hawaii very quickly while being looked for for crimes. Provided our interests align. Call it a politically informed decision. However, that's not the only. Reason we're helping you out. There's another. Hmm. Hanawa, you see, was tasked with submitting a daily report. These would usually include a brief summary, but on one. Okay, Hanawa was um. His own uh, Kiryu's former handler in the Daidoji. These people are not motivated by any self-interest. They'll risk their very lives, whatever the mission. Oh, Hanawa. They are to be treated with respect as equals. Do so, and we'll surely achieve our goals. His words. As it turned out, that would be his final report. <clears throat> do Hanawa a solid. Rarely ever praised people. Yeah. You should be thankful. 
The private jet leaves act, act upon his word, trust us, and trust Kiryu to fucking see his orphans again and give him a hug. Let him do that without, like, beating up his friend. Didn't expect uh. that, but hey, what's one more thing at this point? You scared yet? Not a chance. Tell me, Adachi-san, Junki, Chichan, will you guys go back to Hawaii with me? Of course. I think that's pretty much a given. Nanba, Sunny, Saigo, Zhao. This game has ten fucking party members, this RPG. Each with, like, a couple of hours of unique, like, friendship link content. Like, a fifth of this game is just befriending all of the party members. I like your spirit, pal. And speaking of spirits, what say we enjoy a few, huh? Hey, wow. You sure about this, Chief? <laughs> well, it ain't free. So come home safe, all right? You can pay me back then. Chief, you got it. We'll definitely take you up on that. Don't you worry. I got some soda and candy just for you. I'm glad that even on the other side of the world, living in a, a squatting den, in a bit of disused scaffolding, uh, in a homeless camp, that Lani can, that we can get a smile out of Lani here. Ah, uh, everyone have a nice little happy moment together before. <laughs> oh, but no sake for the child. <laughs> Look at all these goofy little friends we're gonna save the day together. This ragtag bunch of absolute doofuses. This get this series, particularly like the, these last couple of games, have been so good at making like lovable, endearing idiots that I want to see succeed. <laughs> It's, it's very much, for all of their flaws, I genuinely believe this as a group of people who are working towards a shared goal and have got each other's backs. Uh, well, one more conversation before we head back to Hawaii. Let's finally talk to the person who has been ghosting us for like a year and a half, two years, after we... Oh, yep, there's... There is the unread messages, as she's she's spent literal years ghosting him. Uh, trouble sleeping? Oh, uh, what? Ichiban? I'm glad you're gonna uh, fucking sorry. finally talk. Did I scare you? Ninety oh, hours of RPG no, later. It's fine, but Ichiban, shouldn't you be asleep? Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's nerves or something, but uh, I can't catch a wink. You got a private jet. You can sleep on that, probably. Oh, uh, yeah. <coughs> so, uh, Sachan. Uh, yeah. Um, what's up? Well, uh, 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 Sachan, if we both make it back safe. Well, there's something I need to tell you. Y yeah? When the time comes, will you hear me out? Wait, what's this all about? Please. Just a word. That's all I ask. See, nobody, I have some thoughts on streaming and things next. Nothing anywhere okay. near this big. All right. It... One, one big sprawling, just play the one game for several months is enough for a while. Yeah. You be careful. I can say I want to finish this in time to stream another Crab's Treasure, the Hermit Crab Dark Souls, when it comes out. Um, which I think is like end of next, end of next week maybe. That is, that is on the list. 
I might do Botany Manor because I could probably do that in a couple of streams and be done. I got I got a few things on the list of like things to to jump to. Okay. No. Yeah, crab crab souls is the one I am excited to. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to jump into as oh, soon as I am able to stream it. The, yes, oh, it's been so long since I've been home. I guess I'm a little restless. I'm sorry. Did I wake you? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I believe it's that soon. Let me let me double check. Another crab's treasure. I think is. I think it's Friday of next week. Uh, 25th of April, which is Thursday of next week. Yeah, it's, 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 it's literally like a week and a half. It's like 10 days away. Um, the demo was adorable. Um, I am very hype about that game and I can't say any more for now, but I cannot wait to be able to stream that game and maybe talk about it. <laughs> I'm okay. Thank you. I'm hyped Akane. for the crab game. Hmm? For staying with me this whole time. Mm. You're welcome. So, um, do you like Polycana? Hmm? I do. It's, well, it's a special place for me. Then I think it's my turn to protect you. I'm going to keep your special place safe. Lani. I mean it. I know I can do that. <laughs> so rest easy. I won't let anything happen to it. Thank you, Lani. This is the that means more. This is very sweet conversation okay. where Lani's we'll like, I'll sleep. protect the religion okay. that you love. Uh, because you protected me. Terror in the Twitch chat is going, final twist, Lani is the mastermind behind the whole scheme. Look, I wouldn't put it past the Yakuza series. It's had the ser the Yakuza games have had bigger twists than that in the past. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be the most surprising. Got somewhere to be? I'm not running away. I'll be back by morning. So please, just give me some time. Sure about that? You sure about that? Sure about that, Chateau say you're definitely coming back. Uh, so that's it. Just like that. It's all gone. Like a dragon infinite game. Yeah, I I would have to double check, but I'm gonna get, I think we're over 90 hours into this. It's probably going to be around 95, like 95 plus hours, but like by the time we finish it. I want to finish it this week. I'm hoping this week we can we can finish the game. But, uh... It is such an amount of video game. Ain't nobody... I probably wouldn't phrase it as, by the end of next week I'm giving my audience, stream audience crabs. But, you know, you can put it that way if you want. Oh, he's got the old outfit back. Looks like you're about ready. Whoever's going to Hawaii, now's the time. I don't know if his hair looks more grey or less grey now he's wearing the grey jacket. I think it looks less grey. It looks like less of it is grey, but the bits that are grey are more noticeably grey. That makes sense. Oh, it's time. It's time. We're, we're heading to the end. We're heading to the end. Now, the only thing left I might do before we go, like, just do the finale of Hawaii side. Um, I need to remember who's on the Japan side and make sure I've got their ultimate weapons sorted. Because I know I came across this problem in my personal playthrough. 
that this trip to Hawaii is the last time I'll be able to finish you, the Japan side yeah, of the okay. party's ultimate we'll weapons. Do what we gotta so do. I gotta, I gotta make sure I do that before I finish Hawaii. Right. The bleach Japan ship has already left for Nelly Island, and it won't take long. We need to hurry after them. I, I think jungi has got like a couple of tiny bits of friendship quest we we need to finish. I think it's like four things to pick up. Our responsibility. Um. We've got to pick up, like, four friendship prompts. Right. Let's make them proud, then. Yes. And then I've got to double-check what the the other party... The other... Okay. The point of no return! We finally... We finally reached the point of no return. This will be the last period of free time available in Hawaii. It's recommended that you replenish your healing items and save your game. If you advance the story from here, you cannot complete any unresolved sub-stories. Or drink clink, so don't leave anything unfinished. I appreciate that it is this clear about it. Also, you can change the time of day. If you have a thing you need to do that is time of day specific, well, you can you can do it now. Uh, right, so we are going to finish off all of the remaining Japan stuff real quick. Like, worst case scenario, if we use tonight's stream to... Uh, if we use tonight's stream potentially to get those Hawaii, like the the, the finishing up things, uh, done, that gives us Wednesday to do the the Japan uh, the Hawaii finale, Friday to do the the Japan Hawaii uh, Japan finale. Okay, so let's finish grabbing all of Jungi's. A uh, little, I want to be your best friend. Bingo, bingo points. Yeah, this is gonna be. This is gonna, definitely gonna be. Even if we don't progress toward the Hawaii finale tonight, um, this will definitely be the last stream of side content. Like from post tonight, it will all be plot, 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 plot. As I say that, there's a part of me that's like, ah, do I just fucking stay up and do it all tonight? I don't think that's a sensible idea, but part of me is tempted. At this rate, the sound of those waves will have me out like a light. It's like listening to healing music. You know, the ocean is known for its calming effect. I've even found that listening to atmospheric ocean sounds helps me sleep. Oh, so it's not just me. Then maybe tonight I'll just knock out right here. If you want back pain, a cold, or you'd like being robbed, then by all means. That second thought, my room is pretty comfy. We're really opening up. Okay, we've literally got Damn, two more, so two more Jungi bingos. Alright, uh, so one of them was there. One is up here, right next to... Survive. Actually, let's do the Survive one last, because we're going to have to go to Survive. Uh, no, we're not going to have to go to Survive to finish this thing. We've done his Drink Link. It's, it's, we only have to go to wherever his finishing conversation is. Um, Andy H says, it's just been announced that Keanu Reeves is voicing Shadow the Hedgehog in Sonic the Movie 3. Has it been officially announced now? Because what, what I saw like an hour ago was a website was reporting that it's the case. And like, they're probably right. But I have, I, last I saw it was... Here is a rumor that we have heard it's going to be Keanu Reeves. I don't know if, like, officially we know it's Keanu Reeves. Oh, do I have to be in... Do I have to be in the bar for this drink, for this station? Good work today. No. Oh, it's, it's up on the roof, isn't it? Yungi wants to talk to me on the roof. I remember this one. Sure is a beautiful starry sky. It is. But I'm oh, that the little bird we, we saved like a hundred hours ago. For the Bone Festival, Sonia and I sit and moon gaze while eating tango. Oh, for real? So you guys go all out celebrating the holidays then? Social events are crucial. They help us to better appreciate culture and lift morale. Then dango and other treats can be enjoyed to the fullest extent. 
Oh, it does seem to have actually been confirmed. Like, literally 35 minutes ago. Um, how long have I been streaming for? Okay, like 15 minutes into this stream, maybe, it got confirmed. Cool. You see why I was asking that question? Because I'd, I'd seen the rumour. Uh, but yeah, apparently it is confirmed. Keanu Reeves is being Shadow the Hedgehog. Which, like, cool, that's fun. I still liked the rumour that it was going to be Hayden Christensen. Um, the adult uh, Anakin Skywalker actor. I'd have fucking loved to have that angsty boy be Shadow. Yeah, it, it, it does seem to be official now. I'd previously seen it being reported or rumoured by... That sounds nice. My time to shine hello, whoever the fuck that is. Not, not a source I had any familiarity with. I feel like I've gotten to know them well. Okay. Go find Jungi's last little conversation. We are gonna have to come back here probably to change time of day and see someone's see some of the last convos. Nothing to report. Do, do, do. Where's your last one? Oh, it's by District 5. Why couldn't we have just done this when we're heading to District 5 before? Jungi, forcing me to finish your your your, your, your quest. Le leaving just a tiny bit of friendship that I couldn't complete. No Here. This area has a completely different vibe <laughs> compared to the beaches and malls. Yeah, it's sketchy here, all right. Has to keep your guard up. <laughs> it's strange, but I actually feel at peace in this dreary place. Perhaps this is simply instinct for someone who's made the underworld their home. I don't know. I like that smile you had on the beach while we were under the bright sun. I don't think the shadows are the only place where you belong. How in the world did you manage to say that without a shred of embarrassment? Well, maybe you're not wrong. We're really opening Hooray, up. Hooray, we friendshiped Jungi. All complete. Friends forever. Not quite not quite best friends though. We gotta We gotta we gotta go to some of those last conversation points. So I know there's one down here, we gotta We gotta have a little drink with the Dark G to cement that friendship. Um, so I showed this at the start of the stream, uh, I showed this at the start of the stream, but I'll show it one more time because I'm excited about it. This is not final, but it's still being revised and worked on, but a little tiny taste. Myself and Arevia are starting a video game accessibility, uh, video podcast soon, and we have a logo, uh, or at least a work in progress. Look at that! Look, look at that. Look at that. Clear as anything. Um, heck, we, we, we got art for a new show we're going to do. And I am excited about it. And now it's gone until we finish making it. So there's your, t there's your tiny little taste before. Oops. Oops is gone. No more seeing it. Let's stop somewhere. Mm -hmm. What are you in the mood for? Hmm. How about Chinese food? Sounds good to me. Let's head over to the Black Hibiscus. Ew. Oh no! Oh no, the Sandman! Oh, you're still like seven levels behind the party, Jungi, aren't you? Okay. Oh, Chitose's back in the party. Did we... Who got removed? Um... Oh, it was, um... Okay. Let me reshuffle the party around so we've got, um, yeah, let's get Tomizawa back in. This, this side of the game, I think it's going to be Boys, Boys Club. We're, we're going to go into the finale with Boys Club. Jitose, you did fuck us over like one too many times to be in the final party. Jugi gets your spot. Nothing like an ocean view to go with some wine. Makes it taste even better. Wow, you sure look out. Just sharing a glass of wine with me, bro. Heck yeah, I am. Always better to live happy, am I right? Now you're winning in life as long as you're having fun. <laughs> yes, that's true. Yeah, come to 
think of it, I've been to all sorts of places ever since I met you. I even took a trip to Osaka, too. Oh, we sure did. Now here we are, two pals, having some drinks in Hawaii. Oh, we're a long ways from home now. Gumba Master, I thought the same when I heard oh, Essence of Puppy Playtime, I'll be oh, honest. <laughs> Those are my travel buddies. Nah, we just gotta make it happen. Let's go on even more trips. All of us. Paris or Ooh, New York would be great. Any places you want to visit? Canada for Yakuza Canada. The Yakuza Canada we're setting up. Uh, I want to go to anywhere you want to go. Anywhere you want to go, since I can always count on you to liven up the whole trip. Oh. There you go again. Buttering me up. Flattery gets you nowhere, you know. I ain't messing with you, though. Honestly, I got my friends with me. Even trekking the entire globe sounds fun. I guess you're not wrong there. Maybe it's about time to get Koichi Adachi's mystery tours up and running. Dad, where the heck are we going to be going? Hey, now, the fun is in the surprise. Or would you rather roll some dice to decide on a destination? That's a dangerous game, sir. Make me more anxious. Oh, sea breeze here feels... So Yakuza Vancouver! <gasps> How did we not think of Vancouver when trying to come up with Yakuza Canada? Uh, names. Or settings. Yakuza Vancouver. I mean, it'd be like a dragon Vancouver, but Yakuza Vancouver. It writes itself. Maybe someone did suggest it. I don't remember. I don't remember my mouth saying the words Yakuza Vancouver. That feels. That the ADHD is is enjoying the novelty of those words, which suggests I never said it out loud. Apologies if someone said it and it flew past me. Anyway, we we besties with with you now. Now, who do we have left to best friend with? Uh, where do I where do I see my quest list? That's right at the top of this, isn't it? Um, okay, um, that's in Japan. Okay, we've got to go Chitose's one at night, Black Hibiscus in the day. Okay, well we can do Chitose's now then. Um. Right, so we'll do Chitose's finish up west line. Go to the daytime. Do a little hangout with Jungi. Prep the Japan the Japan party's um weapons for the final fight. And then then it'll be it'll be time. It'll be time to just go do the end of this game. After oh so many months, it'll be time. What's with you? The night sky's beautiful here. So different from Japan. The universe is incredible, isn't it? What's up? You sound depressed or something. No, it's not like that. Just imagining what it'd be like to go to space. You never get tired, do you? Hero first, astronaut next. Being an astronaut is probably way harder than being a hero, too. You don't just need to be in shape. You need perfect communication skills. Right? You're working with people from other countries, after all. Can't risk any gaffes, yeah. Have to keep the air clear. Which is hard, since there's no air in space. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Oh, come on, it wasn't that bad. Thanks for trying to clear the air down here, Ichiban. <laughs> Yakuza Vancouver mostly only works because you have a non-erotic accent. I don't know what that means. I know, all I know is I say Yakuza Vancouver. And it, it sounded good coming out of my face, so... Ha ha! Gotcha! <laughs> Okay, Chitose, time for time for your little friendship. Oh, quick, Ichiban, over here. Uh, epilogue. That's the perfect spot. Oh, just look at the sky. It's gorgeous out. So, you come up with a wish yet? Um, uh, I did think of something, but don't want to say it three times fast. You remember, but yeah, I don't know if I can really pull it off. These stars go by in a flash. Afraid I might choke in the heat of the moment. Could happen. Um. Pre record it and play it back at high speed. Just pre record it, then play it back at high speed. Huh. How does that work? Well, imagine Adachi san going, Please repair my kidney so I can drink more. But, but saying that three times fast? Guy's gonna flub it for sure. 
Nachi-san's got quite a wish there. I mean, bad kidneys are no joke. Uh, anyway, continue. So he takes his time, records his wish, waits for a star, then bam, plays it back ten times fast. The star won't know what hit him. Oh, but that's painting. <coughs> Isn't that against, like, interstellar law? Plus, the recording would Stars be didn't write it down anyway, you can't that do that. Oh, you're right. Man, I thought I was on to something. <laughs> well, at least it was entertaining. I've come to like your crazy ideas. Not, not a single shooting star yet. The sky sure is great, though. Yeah, guess the rumors might not be true after all. I was really hoping to see one. <sighs> well, let's go. No point in wasting any more time. But what if? Hold up. Before that. <laughs> oh, oh. How about that? Now there's shooting stars everywhere you look. All the time in the world. They're spectacular. I wish that I could. <laughs> I did it. I said my wish, Ichiban. I'm so happy. Hey, good for you. And what a perfect backdrop up there. Want me to take your picture? You should be in it too. Let's commemorate wishing on a star. Oh, look at all these little friendship selfies. Thank you, Ichiban. And the many more to come. Yeah. Oh, another friendship completed. As mathematically equated, we've done it. All the more friendship. Right. So I need it to be daytime. Then we can go finish Joongies. And then we'll very quickly try and get the other side of the Japan party members their final weapons. Yeah. And then we've got like two hours. We might be able to do the Hawaii finale hey, tonight. That might be doable. We might be able to see the end of the Hawaii side of the game tonight, maybe. Okay, wait for daytime. Then to find Jungi's hangout. Ichiban, go, go, go! You've got friendship to do! Uh, where is it? That like it's on this side? Am I wrong? Is it not on this side? Oh, it's over here. Like hibiscus. Is this a... Is this a restaurant or is it a gaming location. Oh, is this the, the restaurant that was also the gambling place? Is it that one? <sighs> These aromas really do stimulate the appetite. What should we try first? Bolts are doing okay? If not, I could always do the eating. <laughs> I appreciate your consideration, but I'm quite all right. I have high pain tolerance when it comes to issues like this. You don't have to push yourself. Just I mean, you don't become belt. like leader of a criminal faction it. without having a good My pain tolerance for like gone. torture Even and stuff. Spicy ramen shouldn't be a problem now. Okay, as long as you're fine, I don't want to force you. Thanks for your concern. You do eat a lot though, Juki. When the two of us meet up, Feels like all we do is eat. Meals are the basis of life, but since you mentioned it, I feel like I do eat out more when I'm with you, Kasuga-san. <laughs> well, a meal just tastes better when you're with a kindred spirit, am I right? The fact that you say such things sincerely, truly mean it, that's a noble trait. Uh, okay, <laughs> that's a compliment, right? Of course, my personal commendation. <laughs> At any rate, Sometimes a home-cooked meal is more appealing than an extravagant dinner out. True. Uh, how about I cook for you? Then how about I make a meal just for you? You, Kasuga-san? You can cook? Sure, it's your choice of hard-boiled, sunny-side up, or scrambled egg. Hey, Ichiban, you also made, uh, so you made a chili with a day. cough, with cough drops in it? Still. Or cough medicine in it? The sentiment. You've, you've done sure more than eggs, Ichiban. Eggs. That meal was phenomenal. Ah, you can see the smile on your face. I'm totally sending a pic to Sunny. Give it as a status report, you know? Status report. Hey, back. Have a good night. Why now? 
unless you intend to be in the picture. Besides, don't you report to Kiryu-san? What's the point of reporting to Kiryu-san that we just finished eating? Oh. Cool. That is everything on the Hawaii side that we need to do is done. We have completed the Hawaii side of the game. We just need to grab some weapons that we can only get in the Hawaii side. And then we're good. Right. Who do we need to get weapons for? Not Kiryu. Nanba. We need... Uh, what is what is the, the chef's ultimate weapon? Um, let me look up a list quickly. Like a dragon... Infinite wealth. Best weapons. Give me a list, uh, IGN. You'll you'll do. Um, what is the best weapon of the chef class? Do geodancer, housekeeper, samurai, breaker, chef. Okay. Um. Uh, Jinsho. Oh, I can't do his until we get to Japan, I think. Uh, Jinsho is over in... Yeah, that's over in Japan. Okay, that's someone we don't have to do today. Sionhi, uh, what's your job class called? That's... Yours is your default class. It's Assassin? I believe. It should be up at the top because it's the default classes. Assassin. Um... Do all the drink links and then upgrade. Okay, so we should be able to upgrade that with... What do we need? Let's head to... Let's head to the place where we upgrade stuff. The Valkyrie Needles we're trying to produce. Valkyrie Good. Needles. What is it now? Okay, we have the Assassin's Needles. We need eight Rainbow Crystals and a Shark Fin. So long, old man. Uh, eight. We can get the eight Rainbow Crystals real quick. While I'm remembering them. And then we just gotta, we're just gonna we going to have to fish for a Shark Fin, which might take us like five minutes. Robo Onomichio. Give me... Eight rainbow crystals. Hmm. Then up we go for fishing. Yeah. We're just gonna have to luck out fishing with this man. There is no real quicker way at this moment to get the shark fins. Like, I know I'm gonna get one as we Sweet. progress the narrative, but I'm not relying on that. Now, according to the internet, this is a 1 in 10 chance of the shark fin. Sweet. Those odds do not feel accurate to me. Let me just pay you however many dollars it will take to get the shark fin. Just charge me however many dollars it takes for the random dice roll to, to succeed game, and I'll just do it in one. Sorry, I should be I should be taking a more Sweet. fishing attitude to this. You try and rush the fish, the fish will never happen. We just calmly wait for a bite and see what we get. <sighs> Sweet. I want to scare the shark fin off. You don't always catch uh, catfish on your first your first lure. Sweet. If nothing else, we can build good crafting, uh, good recipes out of this. These 300 HP, 300 MP heals for the whole party Sweet. are going to be vital for the, the the final boss fights on either side of the plot. Super duper worthwhile Sweet. for those final final bosses. There we go, shark fin. 
Look at that didn't take long. Okay, uh, in Morris, you are the second person in chat today I've seen mention 413, 13th of uh, April. I don't know you, what man. that's in reference to, and I'm having a moment. Was it Gumba Master who mentioned it first? Is this a Homestuck thing that I have forgotten? Homestuck Day, okay. I It's a sec. It came up. The first time it came up, I was like, I don't know what that is, and I, I don't. I'm always cautious about about asking about things I don't know what they are on stream. Second person brought it up. I was like, wait, who brought it up? Oh, it's Gumba Master. It's, it's fucking Homestuck. Of course what it's fucking now? Homestuck. Valkyrie Needles. Hell yeah. Huh? Right. <laughs> Done. Okay. So long, old man. Who do we have left that we need to do? We can't do Nanba right now. We've done Sion here. Uh, this is your default job class, isn't it, Zhao? Um, gangster. Fifteen rainbow crystals, a shark fin. Okay. Do I have Do I have the cough drop tin? Just to check. Um. Where is this? This is Hitman. Um, how can I not see Hitman? I'm gonna go one by one looking at them. Hitman. Oh, it's here. Oh, uh, no. Hitman is. That's Jungies. Yeah, yeah, what was yours? Oh, yeah, Gangster. Uh, there it is, Gangster. Okay, I got the cough dropped in. I need 15 more rainbow crystals and another so long, another shark fin. This is gonna be the main thing now. Can I afford can I do I have enough Ono Michio points to get the remaining uh, rainbow rainbow crystals? If not, I might have to do a dungeon run off stream. I'm gonna need 30, aren't I? The... Okay, okay, we have... We have enough for the rainbow... Rainbow crystals. Let's go fishing yet again. Let's be similarly quick this time. That was a really good first fishing run. Because yes, I don't want to make the mistake I did of not having the ultimate weapons sorted or the Japan side characters before the end of the game, because it made the Japan finale way harder than it needed to be in my first playthrough. Sweet. I had really not been thinking about their weapon layouts very much, and then at the end I was I fought all the way to the final boss and just could not beat the final boss. I was like, I need more damage output. I had to redo the final Sweet. pretty lengthy dungeon after scrambling to make the best weapons I could. And realizing I couldn't make the actual best weapons because it required prerequisites in Hawaii. Sweet. Thankfully, any of the party members who I've left in their default jobs, I think their default jobs, the prerequisite weapon is just granted for their drink links, so that shouldn't be a problem. Sweet. It's only the ones I put in custom jobs where I, where I would struggle with getting their final weapon up and running. Yeah, Jungi, keep shadow boxing. That'll prepare you for the end of the, the video game. Sweet. Sweet. Adapti, thank you for the small round of applause for me pulling some seaweed out of the river. I, re I really appreciate it. it. Really, really helps me to not feel so bad about my terrible Sweet. fishing attempts. Sure, I'll fish for a dollar, sir. Sweet. 
sweet. Come on. Why is there frozen fish in the river? Why is the fish frozen if it's in the river? Explain that to me, video game. Sweet. Sweet. Exactly, in a Hawaiian river. It's not like we're in Alaska and a fish died and got too cold. Hey, Thimber. How are you doing? Oh, wow. I've just, I've just seen a statistic posted that is fascinating. I knew Final Fantasy VII Rebirth had kind of undersold expectations compared to, like, Part 1 Remake. Um, according to Jeff Grubb, Pikmin 4 has sold more copies than Final Fantasy VII Sweet. Rebirth. I really pick me four out so as right as of right now outselling Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Sweet. Um, Thimba, the UK time changed. Not this weekend. That's just been. Maybe it was the weekend before. I think it was like the previous weekend. It was like a, uh, over a week ago. The clocks did change. Thirty first. Oh, Jane's in the chat. I'm guessing... Okay, it was like two weeks ago. I'm guessing Jane is in chat because there is an accessibility thumbnail for me to peruse with my eyes. Oh, that's a good That's a good thumbnail, Jane. That's a, that's a real good one. Hell yeah. Yeah, right. That is, that is a good, that is a good thumbnail. There we go. Alright, now I can get back to fishing for that shark fin. Sorry, as soon as I went to look at that that AA thumbnail, I realized I had like four Sweet. other people messaging me. I was like, ah, oh, how many of these are work and how many of them are? They can just wait. Yes, Thimbo, we were just talking about this. Uh, look, as great as Keanu Reeves is as ca casting for um for Shadow Sweet. in the Sonic Sonic 3. I'm still disappointed that the earlier rumor is not true that uh, Hayden Christensen, the uh, adult um, Anakin Skywalker actor, isn't Shadow. Sweet. Because I'm just imagining the um, I hate sand, it's coarse and it gets it, 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 it's rough on my skin speech being done by Shadow the Hedgehog and I think it would have fit perfectly. Sweet. Look, just answer my biggest question, Sonic 3 writers. Are we doing the Shadow the Hedgehog backstory where a bunch of children at the cinema are going to have to see a little a little girl get mercilessly gunned down by the military? Are we doing that story? Because that's, that really is the quintessential Shadow story. And I'm still... Do... Do you... Do you want to put that in front of children? I'm curious if you put that in front of children. Sweet. Come on, shark fin. Shark fin. Ooh, just about got it. Yeah, the, ran the random number generator on this is all over the place. Come on. Sweet. There's a reason why I am button mashing the fishing game. You know what I'm after. I'm after the rare drop. Give it to me, video game. Uh huh, uh huh. Sweet. Yeah, I'm, here's the thing. I've been thinking more and more about that Keanu Reeves being shadow casting. And as much as I'm like, you know, I, I want my Hayden Christensen. Sweet. There is a lot of overlap between like Neo in the in the Matrix and Shadow the Hedgehog. You can play the two of them with a considerable amount of overlap. Sweet. I, I caught fried shrimp out of this river. 
deep fried shrimp in the river. Sweet. Ah, ah, ah. Dark fin. Dark fin. Get in, get in here so that we can go see the finale Sweet. of the video game. Squid tentacles. No, that's the other, the other ingredient. We don't need those. That's the wrong rare drop on the table. Sweet. Free fried for your convenience. Yeah, but you put it in the river. It's going to be pretty soggy. It's going to have lost most of the appeal of being fried. Maybe if they were pre-fried but like floating in a little styrofoam boat so they were still dry but were technically in the river. Uh, Thimber, I'm going to need you to, to clarify. Uh, Thimba said in the Twitch chat, in some pro-LGBT news, EA's Respawn said it will not respect its queer cosmetics despite having a tournament in Saudi Arabia, Arabia soon. Will not respect? Remove? Will not remove the queer cosmetics? Um, I'm going to assume it's not remove the, the queer cosmetics uh, because while having a tournament in Saudi Arabia. I... <sighs> It's an, it's not a negative. It's more, it's more positive than if they'd removed the queer costume, uh, cosme, uh, restrict. Okay, they will not restrict queer cosmetics. That's fine. Sorry, I was trying to, I was trying to follow it. Um, it will not restrict its queer cosmetics despite having a tournament in Saudi Arabia soon. So, I will give you. It is more positive than if they were having a tournament in Saudi Arabia and were restricting queer cosmetics. However, I would argue. That's not pro-LGBT, because they're still making the choice to host a tournament in a country where it is illegal to be gay. And, like, this point has been made before. I'm not the first one to make it, but if your tournament is being held in a country where it is illegal to be gay, that essentially means, hey, if you are gay, if you are LGBT and you wish to compete in this tournament... Tough luck, you're not allowed in this tournament. We decided to host it in a country where it's illegal to be gay. I would argue them deciding to host a tournament in Saudi Arabia is still over overall a, neg a, a negative story. The fact that they, they, they're they not going to restrict the LGBT skins is like, it's a cherry on top of a shit Sunday. It's... Like, I, I am a big believer no amount of like... Pro LGBT stuff you do outweighs the fact that you decided to host a tournament in in, in Saudi Arabia, because again, what you have essentially done is gone. Saudi investment money is more important than LGBT people being allowed to enter our tournament or being able to. Because like they will say, no, 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 the Saudi government have assured us that like you know people traveling to the country to enter this competition are safe, and as long as you don't outwardly uh, you know display homosexual acts, you know you'll be fine. But like. Queer competitors are going to say, no, I don't feel safe going to Saudi Arabia and not go. You have essentially banned queer people from from your tournament scene. So, like, fuck any company that, like, hosts a tournament in Saudi Arabia. Uh, anyway, we're fishing. Sweet. Oh, Terra, it's, um, um, uh, EA. Uh, Respawn are hosting a tournament in Saudi Arabia, but they're, they're not going to restrict the use of queer cosmetics in the tournament. Sweet. While hosting the tournament in a country where if you're queer, you probably can't go compete in the tournament. Oh, the Saudis have a lot of money in fucking everything. Uh, like, it, it is, like, it, it's Sweet. not a secret. This is just, like, very transparently what the thing is. Saudi Arabia is very specifically dumping huge amounts of money via something called the Saudi Media Development Fund, I think it's called, into lots of the biggest global entertainment brands, be it movies, music, uh, video games in particular, um, as a way of trying to revitalize their image and trying to um, 
not be seen as that country where women don't have like they're trying to not be seen as that place where women don't have rights and queer people are, um might might get might not be allowed to be there um and they're doing it by doing like buying a lot of sports teams and a lot of sports franchises and a lot of like sports programming and big stakes in video game developers to try and normalize the idea oh hey all that entertainment you love that's all thanks to us um and use that to rehabilitate their image and uh they sure do have their their hands in a lot of global entertainment media sweet uh, like we officially know now that that whole uh, you know when Embracer had to sell off a bunch of um, a bunch of studios because uh, a big two billion dollar investment fell through and like didn't happen yeah that was gonna be from the Saudis um, it was the Sa Saudi Sweet. investment fund was the 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 planned two billion dollar investment so like if everything had gone to plan all of those studios wouldn't have been sold off but it would have been because mostly their acquisition would have would have been funded by Saudi Arabia. Yeah, um... Oh yeah, they do be murdering a lot of people too. Um, uh, Kamal Khashoggi, Khashoggi, uh, I believe, who was, uh, definitely, definitely, definitely not, uh, literally just fucking assassinated. You know? Um, Fire Whiskers says, they're at a point where money means nothing to them, so they mostly care about optics. 100% it's an optics game. It's, it's about things like this video game tournament. It's having global entertainment events Sweet. take place in Saudi Arabia uh, so that on the weekend of a bit, like the weekend of a big event, they can put uh, a global face, uh, a public face to the world that says, look at us, aren't we a wonderful place? You should come here on holiday and also move here and enjoy us. And it's entirely... We want you to associate Saudi Arabia with that that wonderful time you had at a at a video game tournament, etc. Sweet. Uh, I didn't pay attention to what that was. Let's just check in case it was a shark fin. No, we don't have any shark fins still. Oh yeah, no, it's a hell of a lot of video game companies. Like they have a big stake in Epic, um, Nintendo. Uh, almost did in Embracer. Sweet. They do in uh, big. A uh, big part of, uh, of EA. Uh, what was it? One of the big golf leagues in America got bought bought out and is now Saudi owned. Uh, Sweet. Yeah, I I was at the cinema recently. I got an advert like for for like go go on holiday to Saudi Arabia, and I'm like, no fucking thank you. As a trans person, I will not be doing that. Sweet. Yeah, Timber, we were saying this before. They all, yeah, that, that two billion dollar investment with Embracer that fell through was indeed. Uh, we we now officially know it's the Saudis. We, it had been rumored at the time. But... Sweet. Video game. I want to see the. I want to see the finale. Give me the shark fin. Shark fin, shark fin, shark Sweet. fin, shark fin, shark fin, shark fin. That's a frozen fish. Fuck. I'm, I might look up a list in a second. And be like, yeah, what what does Sweet. that Saudi investment fund have stake in? Let's have a look. Okay, the Public Investment Fund, uh, is that the one? Um, they own several Premier League football teams in the UK. Um, do, do, do. Find a big list. Oh, yes, the, yes, so they own... A live golf, which used to be the uh, the Super Golf League, um, the the main competitor to the PGA Tour. Um, yeah, they they own. Oh, I'm just scrolling down. They own. They own. They have big stakes in fucking everything. <laughs> uh, good thing I went to Florida before it got bad. Florida was bad when I went there, and my reasoning was. Hey, look, if I'm literally just getting off a plane going to 
uh, going to a resort with a friend and never leaving that resort and then going straight back to the airport, I'll probably be okay. But, uh... Sweet. On. Shark fin. Sweet. Not more mysterious seaweed. Oh, damn it, video game. Sweet. Ah. One in ten chance, my ass. Uh, 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 fire whiskers. The internet says it's a one in ten chance of getting getting a shark fin. I think that's fucking bullshit. Grounded. We got the first one like two minutes in, but uh. Sweet. Oh yeah, no fucking internet. Uh, particularly like um guides content on the internet is uh. One person get, puts an incorrect statistic in a guide, and then like ten other websites copy paste that guide's content, but reworded and pretend it's their guide, and suddenly a piece of incorrect information just propagates across the internet. Sweet. Uh, Thimber, Thim according to Thimber, Elon Musk wants new Twitter users to have to pay a small fee when creating an account um so like no one like there will not be like twitter without paying yeah no he, elon's fucking destroying it he's 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 burning it to the ground and it's real unfortunate because it's where most of my um business contacts were built it's where a lot of my like work contacts exist is twitter oopsie Glad I invested as much time and effort as I did into building a platform there, Elon. Thanks, you really made that great for me. Sweet. Well, that's the thing. People who want to do scams will pay for a new account because they'll earn more from their scams than whatever the small fee is. Wait. It's not going to stop the bots and the scammers. Oh, Twitter is sinking fast. Twitter is on a hell of a decline. And I just have to go, oops. My biggest source Wait. of being able to connect with people is just going to vanish. And I just have to be okay with that. I'm gonna give this like two more minutes and then I give up and we go see the finale of the game and I worry about the the, the, Japan, the Japan side of the party will just have to have subpar fucking weapons for the finale. I could have done this earlier but you know, I thought oh this won't take much time, I'll just do the thing it'll be fine. I'm over Wait. overconfident in my ability to just, uh, just grab a couple of shark fins. How long could that take? Two minutes? Oh, why is my phone vibrating constantly? Go away with you messages. You're not a message telling me, surprise, you've got a shark fin. Just do one more fishing minigame and you'll get it. I don't care, phone. Sweet. Oh, spring is definitely arriving and temperatures are improving. I might have to open my office window and let some cold air in. It's been months since that's been the case. Granted, I'm wearing a hoodie, but... It's been a while since I've desired increased cold in my home. Sweet. Ah, fisherman. Look, I know sharks in a Hawaii river is probably not a common occurrence. But I need them. Have you considered that game? Not the fucking squid tentacles again. It's the it's the rare drop that isn't the one I need. There are two rare drops. You keep giving me the one rare drop I don't want. 
Uh, 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 Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> okay. Let's be calm. Sweet. No stressing. Just being calm, being in the fisherman's mindset. <sighs> I've got a bite. That's exciting. Let's Sweet. see what it is. Oh, and that was not the one, but that's fine. We've got all day. It's a leisurely fishing day. We're in no rush. Every catch is gone. Sweet. Frozen fish that'll feed my family for, family for oh for weeks. What a delight! Fire whiskers. Sweet. That is amusing. Uh, Fire whiskers put in the Twitch chat. There's a shark fin waiting in the sky. It wants to come and meet you, but the drop rate is a lie. Is that why I'm failing to catch it? It's it's in the sky, and I've been here in the river trying to find it. Sweet. <sighs> Every now and then, Adachi just does a little clap in between fishing mini games. And Sweet. I don't know if that's making me feel better or worse. But the occasion is just like, yeah, congratulations! You got seaweed! <laughs> Sweet! Right. Chat! You, you all, like, form a wall at the bottom of the river so the shark's got nowhere to go. And then I'll, like, you know, we'll, we'll half of chat go down one end of the river, the other half go at the other river, the end of the river. So I'll link your arms and make a big wall. We'll trap the fish in this bit, and the shark in this bit. And then I'll definitely get the shark. We just like, keep Sweet. walking closer and closer together until the shark sort of has to get caught. You all up for that? You all, you all feeling safe climbing into this very deep water? Sweet. To, uh, yeah, exactly. Your your arms, your, your linked arms will stop the shark biting its way through. Yes. <laughs> I will open a wound so the blood will drop the shark. Sweet. Maybe we could reverse psychology of the game, tell it you don't want the shark at all, uh, after all. Oh, you know, I've actually given up on the shark. I'm much more interested in the squid tentacle, you know? We've had, like, two of them. I'd love a third to, like, fill my collection. I don't even really care about the shark fin uh, anymore. You know, I'm really... What I'd really love is some seaweed. Just some some, some seaweed. Some deep-fried shrimp that, for some reason, is in the river. A frozen fish. Oh, a frozen fish would be delightful. Sweet. Anything but a shark fin. Has the rain stopped? I might be setting you up as shark bait, but it's in the cause of... of finishing the game and we're completing this very Sweet. lengthy streamed LP. And I think, Chad, I think you can all agree that that's a worthwhile sacrifice to be making. Oh, Bimba says, uh, in some wholesome game dev news, developer of Blasphemous reveals Larian Studios was one of the game's biggest backers on Kickstarter. Quietly back the game on Kickstarter for a thousand dollars, never ask for anything in return. Oh, that's lovely. That's that's good supportive wholesomeness that. Sweet. Uh, what if I uh game, I don't want the shark fin, I just want the rest of the shark. I'll take the shark minus the fin. I'm definitely not after the fin. Sweet. Ah, 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 ah. 
Sweet. Oh, it was double seaweed that time. Aren't I lucky? Aren't I lucky? Sweet. Sweet. Okay. Legitimately, if I don't get it this this time, I'm gonna see what I need for the other item weapon. And if it's stuff I can get in Japan, Sweet. I might just fucking go for it. I know I just said that would be my last one. Fuck it. Uh, I just want the fucking shark in though. Sweet. <laughs> Compulsion. My desire to have a completed collection and not just one weapon not finished. The tism is getting me. Sweet. The tism's got its its hooks in me, and I'm like, yeah, this is this is why I can't let myself gamble. Because I literally said, yeah, this will be the last one, and then I'll walk away, and then I kept going. This is why I can't do real money loot boxes or uh, real world gambling. I know this about myself. I have a. Uh, they should allow you to do this more, this more than one at a time, right? Yeah, that's why I don't do gacha games. You know, Honkai Star Rail. That's called Space Trains. That sounds pretty fun. Not gonna let myself fucking play it. I I just I know that I've got I've got disabilities of the brain, which make me real Sweet. prone to. Uh, what what if I just addictively com continued to repetitively do a thing in the hopes of a rare outcome? Scratches a little itch in my brain. Read the fucking thing. Okay, if by twenty two, if by twenty two, that's in like two minutes. We haven't got a shark fin. I just have to walk away. Sweet. Because I know we don't. Because technically, I still need two shark fins. But one of them we're gonna get from a from a boss fight during the finale of Hawaii. So it is only this one we need. And then we're good. We're done. Sweet. Uh, uh, let's look at the the actual time. Literally sixty seconds. Sixty seconds of fishing. And if Criston says we are happy to co-obsess, says much about uh, us all. Look, I'm glad you're all still here and haven't just fled my... I I got sidetracked doing fishing. I'm, I'm glad this hasn't turned you all away. I bet you that was the fucking shark fin. I failed to catch the fish. Bet that one was the shark fin. Right. Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Sweet. Oh, fucking shrimp! Shrimp! Sweet. Okay, look, this isn't going to in any way actually help. How to lure a shark? Just get, this is just like genuine, real, genuine real life advice. Oh, yeah. We'll see if reading this gives us any any advice that will help us uh, get these shark fins. Uh, what are, what are the what are the tips? Catch some oily fish like bonita, Spanish mackerel, or ladyfish. The fresher, the better. Uh, the fresher the fish, the better. So try not to buy frozen fish. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure I got a ladyfish here. Sweet. Butterfly them. I don't know what butterfly them means. Put them on a stringer like he had in the video. This is a text article. There's no video in the article. I don't know what... Put them on a stringer like he had in the video means. Sweet. Toss it over the side and wait for the sharks to come to you. The best way to do this is while you're drifting. The ideal situation is when the wind Sweet. and current are moving in opposite directions so you can create 
a nice chum slick. Okay, okay, I'm making a chum slick. Doing this while anchored, uh, anchored up is not ideal, because sharks can get smart when they notice the fish aren't moving, but it can still work if you have no other choice. Ah. Uh, cutting little edges on the fish for maximum bleedage. Oh, okay. Cutting some little wings into the fish. Conclusion. Uh, this is such a fun way to fish. The anticipation of waiting for a 200 pound shark to take your bait, seeing them eat it, then watching the rod double over and hearing the real scream is amazing. I wouldn't know, video game. I wouldn't know. Captain Hollywood, you have not helped me learn anything useful about catching a fish. Sweet. Okay, um... The first rule of shark fishing is to always use a wire ladder, a length of flexible metal wire line, often nylon coated, to attach the fishing hook to the main line or rubber le leader. Most sharks have teeth or very rough mouths and will easily chew through mono, fluorocarbon, or braided wire when hooked. Ah, oh, well that's where I'm going wrong. If you're targeting sharks, it's your responsibility to not leave a fish swimming around with a hook in its mouth. Using a suitable wire leader ensures you land the fish and take the hook out with minimal handling. Practicing catch and release is usual for most, almost all shark species and is something we encourage. Um... Well, I mean, I'm taking the fin off this one, so I'm probably not doing catch and release very ethically. Uh, none of the shark advice is helping. Sweet. Uh, Batman cow. Not even gonna look at what this Sweet. result is. It's fine. I don't even care that it's seaweed. <laughs> Have another fucking dollar, sir. Is it time to give up? Is it time for me to give up? And just be okay with having one. The fucking squid tentacles again. The fucking squid tentacles again. I don't need them. It's the one I. It's the. It's. The, it's the one fucking item I don't need on the rare item table. Game. The game is doing this on purpose, and you know what? It's winning. I'm losing right now. I'm losing to the game. The video game has defeated me. me Second squid tentacles in a row. Two back-to-back -back rare drops. Four rare drops, none of which are the... I'm still looking for the shark fin. I know I was going to stop, but I have addiction problems, you see. And it's better I do this than, you know, go to a slot machine and lose all my money. <laughs> you were away for seven minutes. Yes, you were. Yes, you were. We got two back-to-back -back squid tentacles, though, so... Ooh. Sweet. Ugh.
We learned shark fishing facts though while you were gone, so you know. Sweet. There's that. It was educational. How do you get frozen fish from a river? I don't know. How do you get fried shrimp from a river? <sighs> Sweet. You know what? I'm going to go to Revolve Bar. I'm going to go do one song at karaoke and craft some food. Give the sharks time to think I've left. That they've given up on fishing for them. Hey, get over and here. just when they least expect it, Whoa. bam, shark fin. Okay, what song is most likely to make the, the sharks want to hang out? Yes, it's my turn. Oh, let's 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 sing Ichiban's "I'm I'm Ga I'm a Gamer" song. This one's for you. It's his it's his "I'm a Gamer" song. I fucking I unironically love this stupid gamer anthem. There are days you'll be weak. There are days you'll be lost. There are times when you feel you wanna run and hide. There are days you'll be down And you'll start to wonder If you were better off If you died I have those days too But I believe I believe I'm gonna make it through I won't run away I won't die I'm gonna level up Be the best that I can be And I'm not gonna stop resting Until I'm a hero I'm gonna level up, be the best that I can be. I swear that I'll become unstoppable and you'll be right at me. I've got to see this through, I can't look back until the end. Rise from rock bottom to the future, I see in my dreams. So come on, let's go level up. It's cheesy, it's tacky, I genuinely kind of love it. <laughs> I'm gonna support his young childhood self via the medium of being a video game protagonist adult. Okay, we've taken a break. The fish will be there now. Specifically the shark, that's the fish that will be there now. I'm pretty sure a shark is a fish. I don't think it's any other class of thing. <sighs> well, here, as I said, once we have this shark fin, there is literally no side content left we need to do in this game, and we can just go do the Hawaii finale and do the Japan finale. As I said, worst case scenario, Wednesday, Hawaii, Friday, Japan, we're done this week. Even if we spend this whole fucking stream looking for that shark fin, we'll still be able to finish the game this week. <laughs> uh, Cass, I do have a Discord. I don't often share the link just because it's nice and it's quiet. And if I don't publicly put the link anywhere, then, like, jerks don't find it. Um, but if you give me a second, um, every now and then I do the his, his uh, invite link. Uh, which I will... Uh, I don't think Yamai was a bandmate. I think Yamai is now staying at, um, Dondoko Island. I might be wrong. Um, but there should be a Discord link in the chat now. Um, hey, a thousand young. Um, yes, I will do a bunch of... Here's the thing. I will do all of the bandmates I haven't done yet. And there are several I haven't done yet. Um, on stream. Once we once we go do, like, we go fight the final bosses and go do the, the big narrative bits, that's where I'm gonna pull out all the fucking expensive poundmate summons. Sweet. That's alright, Terra. No, I, I I know it only appeared briefly earlier. I might I might be wrong. 
I think Yamai is just uh Yeah, because he's he's not a Panmate summon because he's in Canonically he's in prison right now. Um but apparently they let him on out on good behavior to go hang out on Dondoko Island. Dondoko Island is prisoners are allowed to go on like a little holiday. Yeah, I realize my reasoning of he can't be a pound mate, he's in prison, really doesn't hold up when he's just chilling on Dundoga Island. Sweet. Huh. Okay. Come on, come on. Sweet. Every time I see the F of frozen fish, I'm like, Finn? From from Shark? Shark Finn? Oh, we've had sashimi a couple of times. Uh... Oh. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. This will have been like 45 minutes of fishing. You can see why I didn't bother finishing the the ultimate weapons for my party members in my own personal playthrough. I was like, no, I'm gonna do it this time. I'm gonna go with all the, the cool badass weapons this time. And Sweet. the game was like, nah, nah, you ain't. Let me just, like, give you a hundred dollars and you give me a hundred pulls of the of the slot machine. Can we do that video game? Can we do it that way? So I don't have to, like, do the, the, the manual pull every single time? Sweet. Let me turn the game to double speed at least, game, yeah, please. Ah. <sighs> Uh, Fire Whisker says, this is like in Final Fantasy X where all uh, where you have to do all sorts of uh, crazy things to get the items to unlock your ultimate weapons. In this one, it's just one. It's fish. Do fish. Sweet. Do fish and hope that the one in ten chance happens once in 45 minutes. Sweet. Uh... I'll just let me jump in the river and grab the fucking shark myself. Sweet. I just want the treasured sword of heaven and earth. It's got such a cool name. Why would I not want it? Ah. Ooh, you know what I've been watching recently that I can talk about? No spoilers, um, either from me or to me, because I haven't finished watching it yet. No fire whiskers, we found we found a we found a fin here like two minutes in originally. Like I I got like seven fins here off stream for like the first batch of weapons. Several of these characters I already got the fins required off stream. The game's just being a dick. Uh, but yes, no no spoilers, but I've been watching some of that that uh um uh, what's it? The Fallout TV show, the live action Fallout TV show. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. We really do seem to have entered an era of um more often than not, video game adaptations aren't shit. Video game t TV and TV shows and movies not a guaranteed Sweet. 
absolute shit fest. Which is nice. It's nice to have entered that era. Sweet. It was a little disorienting as a viewer of Lost to see Benjamin Linus wandering around in, in Fallout. I'm like, oh, it's you, the, the, the guy from The Others. Sweet. We're getting very close to the point where I will genuinely have to give up. We're like, we're coming up on half an hour past the point where I said Sweet. I would give up. But the sunk cost fallacy is happening now. And my brain goes, yeah, but statistically it's got to happen any second now. Sweet. And if you give up, then then someone else will, will get the win. I know that's not how any of this works. But my, my pat Sweet. stupid patent-seeking brain will not let me walk away when the odds go this ridiculously astronomically not in my favour. That next pull's gotta be the one though, right? Sweet. And now you see how I got really into shiny hunting in Pokemon. This is exactly the mentality that is required to shiny hunt like 900 plus species of shiny Pokemon so far. Sweet. Ichiban, it's not sweet though, is it? It's not sweet though. It's quite savory if I'm honest. A bit bitter, I might say. Anything but sweet, sir. Sweet is not the flavour of this. Salty, perhaps. I'm a. It, it's a bit salty. I'm a bit salty. What's the difference? There we go. Fucking hell. There we go. Only took forty-five goddamn minutes. Only took forty-five goddamn minutes. Fucking hell. Some of you are still here, and to those of you, I salute your patience. Ah, gangster. Treasured sword of heaven and earth. See how much nicer it looks? Ah. We have basically so double Zhao's attack right there. And then lastly, let's look at that last one. It's Sayako, um, who is the tennis player... Uh, where is it? Just confirm I have all the things I need. Night, uh, Night Queen, no. Uh, linebacker. Tennis Ace. Base version is exchanged for 3,000 Gummy Jewel survey data at the Yokohama Dungeon. Cool, we can do that, and is upgraded for 15 rainbow crystals, which we have, one empty cough drop tin, and one squid tentacle, which we already have. Cool. Done. Good. We we did we did it. Everyone get their good gear. We're gonna have to finish making two of these when we get to Japan, but that's fine. Uh Simba says, did you already discuss all the, the whole Star Wars outlaw controversies? I, I was unaware there was one. I know very little about it. Which which company's Star Wars game is this and what is the controversy? Ah, oh, fuck it. We've only got an hour left of stream. Do we do it? Do we go finish Hawaii tonight? I think we do. Let's go let's go finish the Hawaii side of the game. Oh, this is the Ubisoft one. Okay, what what's what's the controversy? Yeah. Really pissing me off. Let's do it. We're at the end of the game, sirs. You leave us be. Okay, let's. What? Jungi, how strong are you now? You have the better weapon. Okay, you're much better now. Even at a six, seven level deficit, you are pretty efficient. Honestly, we can probably just have a melee. 
the high level characters in BU. Totally. Let's do it. We're going. End of the game. End of the Hawaii portion of the game, anyway. Okay, Gamer Bros are complaining the main yeah, character, yeah. the main character's right. looks. I, I know the main character, I think, is not... I believe is non-male from what I've seen. I'm assuming that that's part of what the, the game is whining about. Uh, the way Ubisoft is handling the game sale, which has DLC and New Game Plus tied, tied to $100 plus dollar versions. I, yeah, that's... It's bad, but it's like, it's bad in the way that like... It, it's not surprising to hear that that's happening. Uh, okay, let's head... Let's head to Nele Nele Island and go stop Rice. Let's finish it. And aging. Right. We're moving out. Still can't see the island. Perhaps. But we should still be on course. <sighs> What's up, he's fine. That face ain't like me. No, just curious about something. Something? Nelly Island's basically Bryce's lair. Its location should be top secret. But for all the guy's secrets, that info was pretty easy to get. <laughs> Speak for yourself. As if hacking a satellite wasn't enough. Do you have any idea how many photos I had to sift through? I'll say. It might have turned up with a good bit of digging, but... Sure as hell wasn't easy. All things considered, the chance of it leaking on its own is pretty low, right? You're probably right, but still... This is Bryce we're talking about. Look, hear me out. So, Bryce... Huh? Even if his secrets were in danger, who's to say he doesn't have some kind of backup plan? What? What do you mean by backup? <laughs> this is what we mean by backup plan, probably. What in the hell? Oh, it's that shark from earlier, the one that ate Dwight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that. Was this what you meant, Kasuga? Yeah. And man, do I hate that I was right. What do you mean? I mean, nobody was ever making it to that island, and even if the whole damn world found out about it. You're telling me this is Bryce's? His or not, this boat is no match. We have to stop it. Damn straight. Hope you guys know how to fish. Boss fight against a shark time. This is the one thing I knew about this game before I played it, was at some point you fight a big fucking shark. I knew this and Animal Crossing. That shark is so big! I swear, it's like ten times the size it was when we last saw it. Oh, come on! See that thing? What the hell are we supposed to know? Well, we can't just smile at it. Whack it on the nose or something! Cool. Oh, yeah? Attack it with the dolphins. No, we can't attack it with the dolphins. Attack it with the space laser. All right. Time to see whether all of these late game weapons we've unlocked are going to make a big difference to... Um, honestly, this damage is pretty nice. Um... Okay, you have at least one attack that you can use against the shark, Kadachi. That's good to know. Oh, that was a good fucking attack. Watch me. Take this. Don't move. Just fucking taser the shark. Space laser again. When 
Okay, I'm, I don't blame you, Tommy Zara and Adachi, for being afflicted by fear. This is kind of kind of scary. I'll give I'll give you that. Okay. Till be up. Does it want its fins back? It can. It can't fucking have them. They're mine now. I'm going to beat it up using weapons crafted from its own goddamn fins. it was worth getting those those post-game weapons I, I it really really seems like it was worth it oh i didn't buy more wedding dresses i should have bought more wedding dresses for the team okay nice. oh well look at me go who do i add it i'm getting better levels for all hey i thought you were ready for this who the hell would be ready for that yeah oh, no kidding world's just full of surprises huh Nelly Island's more secure than we thought. Seems anyone who gets close enough ends up a meal. <sighs> well, no way it's Bryce's pet. I doubt even he can work that kind of magic. I don't know. Really, I'll bet the island's just its chomping grounds. Sail in and your shark food. With that in mind, Nelly Island's like a puzzle. You'd never get there off location alone. Ah, oh, you need the route. Right. If you don't have both, you're done. Gills up before you even see the shore. The island's just bait. It lures people in and springs the trap when they least expect. So Bryce was counting on this. We sailed straight into his hands. Yeah, but his trap was a bust. It'll take more than that to get rid of us, won't it? Yeah, we've Damn got right. we got cool ass weapons. Uh, he ain't gonna stop us. On track. Step one done. Kill a big shark. Oh. Step two, get to the cult island. That's not going to be that hard. How hard could that even be? We're finally here. We are. I can see a dock up ahead. Probably don't want to draw attention, though. Yeah, let's find a place where we can sneak ashore. Maybe turn the lights off on your boat, crew? The lights are probably going to make it fairly easy for them to see someone's coming. This is it. Final, final area. Oh, layers, guys. Aren't you hot? <laughs> hey, these are our fighting clothes. When the going gets tough, the tough press to kill. <laughs> right. It's just a routine of ours. No need to worry. Yeah, amen to that. <laughs> they all feel most I'm comfortable wearing their signature outfit well, for a uh, for a big fight. Just looking at you guys. That or fired up for what's ahead. Fight club, fight club, fight time, fight time. Uh, sure is peaceful here. Tara <laughs> says, I like how the game is playing the Is Bryce Magic Maybe. game. Is there magic Bryce in this series? There There's stuff in this series I can't explain any other way than magic. We've got three objectives here. But whether that's First, canon or not is Bryce and shut down his whole deliberately kind of ambiguous. There's a couple of characters who were like implied to have psychic powers, maybe. Of this whole nuclear waste disposal business. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, three? Wait, wait, what's the last one? We all walk out of here alive. That's your number one priority. Don't forget it. <laughs> Just what I'd expect from you. Yeah, is it Haprica that's psychic? Our warm welcome. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's Haruka it's that is implied to be psychic. Hope you're ready to stop. Come on. 
Um, none of the main storylines involve magic wackiness. I mean, not in any way that's like confirmable. But again, Bryce in this, a guy pulls a gun on Bryce, and Bryce says, I wouldn't do that if I were you. And the guy pulls the trigger, and the gun misfires and explodes, blowing up the face of the man who fired it, and not Bryce, who was on the receiving end of the. should have been on the receiving end of the bullet. And I don't know what that is if not if if not magic cult powers. <sighs> okay. Sup. That's probably where we're heading. Big big creepy ch big creepy church. That's probably where a cult leader would be. Okay. Let's head there as quick as we can. Don't forget, we're deep. Oh, I don't think we can save now we're here. I think we just have to kind of brute force it to the end. So we, we we might just have to do this in one go. We'll see. But that guy worked for Bryce. It could have been staged. I mean, maybe. Or execute. Maybe. But also, like. I'd be. I'd be surprised if a person would willingly fire a gun that was going to backfire in their face. Eh, I know, I know. It, Bry Bryce has, like, very devout followers. I Here's the thing. I'm not saying there is no non-magical explanation for Bryce. What I'm saying is the game sure does play in the space of... Yeah, but, like, what if Bryce is magic, though? <laughs> Oh, fucking landmines. Yeah, I, I think that's, yeah, the game is intentionally leaving it open to be like, maybe there's weird shit. The rest of their lives in peace. Yeah, well, I guess the real intention was nobody leaves this island alive by the look of it. There's no way they set all this up just Yep, for us. all those Yakuza that got shipped here to, to work in the nuclear waste uh, room Keep in mind, are not supposed to be able to leave. Leverage the enemy's own careless mistake. All right. Everyone stay sharp, all right? That's... I'm going to do my best to not step on the landmines. Do do do. Do do do. Do 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 do. Look. Time to clear the way. I like to believe that Bryce has magic powers purely because it makes the entire plot of this game fucking nonsense. Because if he does have literal magic powers, it, it is pointless for him to be this invested in a political ploy to use a religious island as a dumping ground for nuclear waste. It's so beneath him if he really does have magic powers that that's, that's what he's using them for. Oh, you almost got me mine. What are you looking at? You ready for this? If he has magic powers but doesn't know it. I mean, I I have I have my thoughts about potential Bryce explanations. I do think probably having staged staged his own miracles is probably the most likely answer. Like, if I was going to put my money on an explanation, it would be Bryce Bryce faked his faked his own miracles. But like, you know, it's fun to believe. It's fun. It's fun to it's fun to play in the space. Well. 
Oh, Ichimon, your essence of Dondoko laser is just going to wipe these early fights for us. And going to make us so much money that we can get every pound mate possible. I mean, Thousand Young, look, canonically we know the deal with this is Ichibon is not in a split second changing from this suit into the suit of armor. He is imagining himself in the suit of armor when he enters a fight because he wants to be an RPG protagonist and the RPG hero would be wearing the outfit in the fight. And the only reason that it happens in the Japan half of the story is when Kiryu spends too much time around Ichiban and then becomes the leader of his half of the, the RPG. He unlocks the I'm a protagonist. He, he unlocks protagonist vision and is like, oh shit, I see what Ichiban was seeing now. I say that, maybe it's real. Maybe Ichiban really is doing it. Other characters have commented on, like, why do you keep imagining people transforming when you fight them? So, you know. We've only got 123 keys. But, oh, what does that rainbow hat do? That's pretty good. Everyone's hats around. That's candles. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of just combat gauntlet for a minute, but we'll we got this. We're gonna we're gonna speed run these combats. Level-ups for everyone. What's with you? Stay nice and still. Okay, you asked for it. Watch me. Ooh, I don't think we've used Essence of Mirror Image yet. I think this is a new one. We'll, we'll watch this play out. Ooh! Ooh, Jungi! Someone whose religion's imagery is a bunch of flames, you sure are weak to fire. Halicana Zealot. No! This crew have never killed anyone. None of these people have ever done a murder. All of these enemies survived with minimal long-term injuries. Come on, Jungi, get up. I'll show you a fight.
Hello? Hello? There we go. Game game needed a second. Oh uh, yeah, this isn't easy. Oh, you're too close. I don't know how to. I don't know how to hit you when you're nearby. Come on, let's go. Oh, wait, wait, time out. Look, I'm just kicking too much ass, and the game doesn't know how to handle it. Okay. You better focus. Let's go. Take this. Oh, you know what? Let's do a, a new. Uh, let's do a new pound, mate. Um, let's go. I don't think. Oh no, you're a healing one. Have we have we summoned you yet? I don't know if we've summoned summoned the old kung fu master. Don't think we've done this one before. The man who taught Kiryu everything he knows, or at least a good portion of what he knows. <laughs> I still got it. Oh, maybe I should have just used the healing one with at least one of my party members on one HP. But I was like, I was pretty confident we were about to reach this. Light! We can finally say goodbye to this mess. <gasps> Stop! <laughs> Are you hurt at all, Kasuga san? <laughs> yeah, fine. You saved my life there, pal. <gasps> Junki! <sighs> Let me have a look. Oh, man. Nobody panic. I was just grazed by a piece of shrapnel. Oh, so sorry. She paid the price for my own mistake. Like I said, it only takes a single moment of carelessness. And as you can see, I got sloppy. We're finally out of the woods. Are you guys okay? Hello. <gasps> Is there a reason you're out here? Please don't attempt to murder, murder oh, me and my girl? friends. This kid be a Haku too. Sir, you're not hurt, are you? I'm fine, and no need for a sir. I'm not that old. I'm and gonna okay. treat myself to a little bit of chocolate, I think. You've been warned never to step foot in the forest, child. <gasps> Mother! <gasps> Who are you people? Mother, it looks like that man got hurt. You're injured. A little bit of chocolate. <laughs> Did something happen out there? Hey, what's your gut saying, Kasuga? She seems genuinely caught off guard. I think so too. But are there really people on this island who aren't under Bryce's control? We wouldn't rule out the possibility. If you folks are injured, you definitely need treatment. Please, follow me. <clears throat> Our journey's far from over. Let's get you fixed up now, Junji. Hey, Kasuga-san. All things considered, it's better that we take the risk. Ah, right. Yeah, we can never be too clear. Um. Everyone, stay vigilant. Just a nice little treat for me. Helena, who are these strangers? I'm not sure. But it seems they were injured in the forest. Oh, what a shame. Go on and use the shed. The first aid kit should be in. Oh, what a lovely little Thank community you. here on the, Sorry to intrude. the cult indoctrination really island. 
To lend a helping hand in a time of need is to live by Madame Nelly's teaching. Yeah. Look, look! I found some strangers lost in the forest. That's the shed over there, right? Let's go. You didn't find us lost in the forest. We wandered in through the gates of your compound. Cool. And you were like, hello! Oh, I got a chance to breathe. Yeah. We should rest while we have the chance. Poor fucking frozen fish. Should I open it? Yeah, Wait. open it. Is is this real? I mean, um, um, it sure seems to be. Uh, right. Who was that fancy dress? Uh, an item for? It's somewhat okay. So that's gonna be Chitose's ultimate armor. Okay, we'll we'll come hang out in here. Yeah, let's let's get let's get Jungi treated up, treated and healed up in the shed. All right, that ought to fix you up. Sorry for the trouble. I owe you one. Yeah, best not overstay our welcome. Let's get moving. You said it. Hey, does anyone smell something burning? Huh? Yeah. What's it coming from? Shit! Look. Oops. Those lovely, very hosp hospitality-focused cultists uh, locked you in a wooden shed to burn you alive. Cool. For some reason, I have a square talking in the top left, says Boodoodoodoodoom. Yeah, that's because I'm here, live on stream. I am streaming the game and chatting with chat while I stream the game. Gonna roast this to death all along. Damn it! Open up! At this rate, we'll suffocate before the flame yeah. can reach us. Yeah, I, I, I assumed you were joking, but I, I was trying to understand what the, what, what you, I don't understand. I can tell you're not being serious. I don't understand what the joke is, if I'm honest. We'll kick it down together on the count of three. One, two. Not very nice of you to try and burn us alive in here. Other fools, you've squandered the chance to receive divine salvation. Ha! <laughs> Talk no about warm hospitality. Well done, Thousand Young. Well done. You ready? Yeah. Let us purge the wicked from this earth. You gotta cry. Let's do it. Well, well at, at least they were nice enough to, to let us use the, the healing point before, you know, fighting all of them. It means that I have all my, my charges of the big space laser back. I really appreciate them not doing this wave after wave after wave of fight while we were on, like, 1 HP. That would have been real rude of them. Come on, Ichiban Laser, one hit KO again. Okay, not quite, but pretty, pretty close. I'm up. Uh, Eternal Kung Fu. Oh, that was bloody strong. How's the JRPG style going with me? I love this as a change for the series. Like, as much as I enjoy the melee entries with Kiryu, I think that the RPG mechanics and narrative conceit, I think, really allow the series to lean into the tonal whiplash between Sirius and Silly that it does best. 
like it reminds me of like when the Saints Row series got to like Saints Row 3 where it's like you worked out what your selling point was and really capitalized on it well mechanically. I might be thinking of Saints Row 4, the one that was like, hey, it's in a simulation and you have superpowers. Sometimes a game just finds a mechanic set where it's like, oh, this just lets us get real wacky with the plot. That's enough. We want Bryce. Tell us where your shoddy sage is hiding. We headed for it. the training grounds beyond. That was the last we saw of him. So that was the training grounds we saw. Big shocker. Like the, the, right the cult leader is in the church. <laughs> Scamper around all you like. Your sins will catch up with you in the answer. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Hold up, Ichiban. What's wrong? Aren't we forgetting someone? Spit it out. Where's Wong To's son? So Wong To was uh, one of the very pleasant, nice people we met with in Palagana, who was at the church, um, who was like, I, I'm not ready to believe that Palagana is being run by a cult leader, because that, well, my son got taken to be one of the, like, disciples that would get, you know, trained on Nelly Island, and if I acknowledge that Bryce is a cult leader... That means having to accept that I handed my child over to be indoctrinated in a cult. And I'm not ready to accept that that's what happened. And therefore, I am in denial about what Bryce has done. Um, and we promised we would try and find his kid. So, yeah, that's been... That was a while ago. But yeah, that's that's whose kid we're looking for is... Person who wasn't ready to accept Bryce was fucking up the religion. Because that would mean I... I handed my kid over to be indoctrinated. Chichon. Don't bother playing dumb. We already know you're hiding him here. <sighs> or would you rather us take turns making you scream? Okay, I get it. I get it. But as you said, the boy has been kept here. Oh, that's nice of you to admit, sir. Fantastic. Then, would you kindly show us the way? <gasps> oh, there he He's is. He's asleep. Though he is imprisoned, he is still well respected. You're lucky he's unharmed. But you definitely wouldn't be. I've only seen the kid in passing. This is him, right? Yeah. No doubt. You can expect us back here as soon as we're done with your boss. So you better crank up the quality of his care till we return. If anything happens to him, guess what happens to you? <clears throat> Understood. I'm impressed, Jitose-san. But how did you know the boy would be here? That's the thing. I didn't. I was bluffing. How the heck did you keep a straight face? Well, I was acting on more than just a hunch. I figured with what happened to Wong, Bryce was forced to think about the future of Ganja. And from his perspective, who better? Oh no, I'm I'm wrong about whose kid this is. This is uh, this is this is the guy who um was running the casino. Sorry, this is the guy who was running the casino who told us like, hey, Bryce is is the overseer, and then his men like one of his men threw himself out the fucking window to be like a warning sign, um, to be like, oh, you've been betrayed, Bryce. Uh, and then they were like, oh yeah, we already took you. you. You weren't supposed to talk about the Overseer. We were going to kidnap your kid if you did. Yeah, that's that's whose kid this is. Too, too many people's children wrapped up in Malikana. Um, This is the guy, he got shot in the leg. He was in the, the woods and we were trying to help him escape. He eventually got killed in the uh, the Daidoji hideout. This was, this was his kid. This was his kid who was taken because he dared speak up about Bryce. Leader than Wong's own son. How's it young? Have a good night. Have a lovely one. He set the kid up as his successor, then send in one of his own goons as his assistant. That lunatic was looking to establish his very own puppet regime. Bet you brainwashing the kid was the first thing on his list. In that case, Bryce needs him alive. Otherwise, he'd have to start from scratch. So yeah, I figured he might want to keep the kid locked up. I get you. It's just... It's gonna be hard breaking the news about his dad. Yeah, all we can do right now is put a stop to this madness. I agree. Then let's keep moving. Yeah, so he's his dad is not alive to bring him back to, but we can at least make sure that he 
is alive and, and you know, looked after. Even if his dad can't be there to, to see him. Right, onward we run. Is there a safe point around here? Are we allowed to just regularly save? No, we can't. I know we've passed the point of no return. I genuinely don't remember if there's any save points between here and the end of this finale. Okay, we've rotated all the best gear around. Yeah, I think we have to do the whole Hawaii finale tonight. I think we have to, like, each of the finales of the narrative we've got to do in one shot or we don't get to. But we're close. What are they doing? Killing each other. God's sake. And these guys are on the same side? Huh. I've actually heard about this sort of thing. There are cults that force their disciples to perform ritual murder as a test of faith. Whoever dies, whoever kills, none are held accountable. And the survivors are willingly cut off from the world. Who you there? Who dares disturb our training? Glad you finally Look, at Look what I get doing. what you I get what they're going for. Are you willing to kill for your beliefs, even kill your fellow your fellow believer for your beliefs? This seems like a really bad way to build an army. Because you're killing off a good portion of your army. The devils that wish to taint our faith. This is your final trial before you approach divinity. Like, sure, you're gonna really, really devote devote and strengthen the surviving cult members. But at the expense of killing like half your cult members. We got this. Big, big damage. Watch me. Take this. Take this. Big meat. Big, big meat. Looks like I'm up. Thankfully, yeah. you are allergic to fire. Can't stand the stuff. Let's go. Endless kung fu. Excellent. Even their most dev devout fighters in the murder room could not take us down. We've got this. Sage is just beyond this door. Why are you so scared, sir? Oopsie, just gonna lock us in here. <laughs> you shall never set your wicked eyes upon our sage. Damn. Yeah, okay. I don't sense any hostiles in the vicinity. Right. Oh, there's a save point. We'll keep at it once we catch our breath. We can save at least once. In this, apparently. That's nice of them. Should I open it? Sweet. Okay. On the word. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Big caves full of lots of pools of water. Wonderful place to store nuclear materials, this. What he said back there. I find that rather ominous. All that crap about a guardian or... Whatever. Yes. It was a little too easy to get him to lead us here. 
I don't sense any enemies nearby. That's exactly what's so creepy about all this. Whoa! Is this an earthquake? Well, Your scouts are not detecting any power levels, Jato say. It's erupting? Hey, hey, guys! What's that? Oh, yeah, this. I forgot we had to fight a giant squid in this. Blessed Leviathan. Another sea monster! What is up with this island? What did we do either? Stay sharp, guys! Oh, like the tentacles! See how they're moving? Yeah, tell me, I'm sure that's it. Okay! There's our target! Run! Here goes! Put the tentacles, nice and quick. Ichiban, ooh, yeah, let's. Yaka's a crackdown. Let's do a big, let's do a big expensive one. Oh, and I skipped the animation. Oopsie, that's on me. Hundred thousand, a hundred thousand dollars well spent, Matt. Here I come. Come up. Let's go. No mercy. Okay, halfway down. We just need its big tentacles to not come back too quick so we can keep spamming attacks on the main body. Yungi! Big laser! Okay, you're you're killed, boy. Let's go. Take this. Out of the way. Oh, my eyes are all gotta do something about this. Going in. Dachi, you are weirdly our like big damage dealer in the party. You are like reliably able to do more damage than than Ichiban, I think. And, oh, are the tentacles coming back? Yeah, they are. Well, the main body's so close to death, I'm pretty sure we can just ignore that and take the main body. I don't think the tentacles have to be down for us to damage the main body. I think it just gets more attacks if we have to take the tentacles out. Yep. Confirmed. One toxic sludge barrel to the face will do it. To the I'll next take it. Nice. Hey. Yes, Levels for all. How many more giant sea creatures can we be forced to fight? Hmm. Ah. On we go. out the water it's gonna be more bloody seaweed should I open it got it Ooh, who else can we give night armor to and yeah, no, change what we have on anyone else Bryce, you can't be far now.
down we go into the depths. The belly of the beast. My ears are starting to ring. Must be a pretty deep cavern to be able to fit in all the waste. Oh, are we here? Prepare to be executed in the name of Madame Nele! I guess we should have seen this coming. Look alive, guys! I'll put you in your place. I'm struggling here. Not good. Okay. Cool. Get your bow and laser. Oh, that laser is so good. This is, it's a good thing that we spent 12 plus hours on the damned uh, Animal Crossing minigame. It's carrying us through the post game, through the late game. The main thing that makes the Kiryu finale that's going to come after okay. this in Japan, I would say more difficult than the Ichiban finale. The Kiryu side has no overwhelmingly powerful hits every enemy attack the same way that uh, Ichiban does here. Space lasers can definitely shoot underground and it's very safe to shoot a giant space, space laser like that what near this heck? much fucking nuclear waste. Nothing could go wrong firing a laser near this. Seems to be. For all that talk, I expected much more than a cave out at sea. <laughs> to think they made it sound so official. Hell, they're just that sure is a lot of nuclear waste. And some of it's rusting. Disposal facility, my ass. This place is a dump. A real crock of shit. If they keep this up, the whole island, even yep. the surrounding ocean, is screwed. Yeah, Br Bryce literally, like, murdered the head of a religion to take over as the head of a religion, uh, turn it into a cult, uh, collect several, uh, you know, groups of, of criminals underneath him, purely so he could get this island and put nuclear waste on it. Much like I have said many times, there are, like, three plots to a Yakuza game, and those are... Uh, the, uh, we need the pr the property rights, the vacant lot. Uh, there is the, we're, we're trying to do a big financial, a big financial crime that needs to be stopped, solved. And three, we got to protect the little, the little girl. This game has all of them. This is our vacant lot. Ooh, who's got the property rights to the vacant lot? <sighs> Greetings, Kasuga. Bryce! Long time no see. Unfortunately, I'm afraid I can't welcome you here. This place is holy ground, meant only for chosen Haku. None but they may enter. Your presence is a stain upon the land. Sure, I'm the one staining the yes, land here, with you there. Mr. Barrels Once of Nuclear Waste. Jail, we'll be sure to make amends. For now, we got work to do. A little waste disposal of our own. You hear that? For the sake of Balikana, we're taking you down. Spoken by a meddlesome outsider. Surely you recognize the arrogance in that. Oh no. I got a good idea of how you run things. You're nothing but a damn crook. You spit on people's faith like it's a sport. And it's not just money, is it? Taking lies too, Bryce. I'm here for Takuna. Had he died peacefully, who knows? Maybe then I might have let it go. But no, that's not what happened. Not even close. You used his faith for all it was worth and just to toss his life away. Yeah, Takuna is his friend that we, that uh, Tomizawa was like, hey, I know a guy who's got a boat. And it's like, ah, oh, shit, turns out my friend is, like, deep in the, um, fucking cult. He's, he's been real brainwashed. After losing the fight, uh, he, he, uh, Takada literally fucking stabbed himself in the heart with a knife to avoid, you know, giving away any secrets. I can see why Tomizawa would be like, yeah, you ruined my friend's life. He had a 
family, a wife, yeah. kids, and everything. Master, you used him. Ah, so one of your friends was a Haku, was he? Well, well, yes. <laughs> That is unfortunate. This Takata of yours. It's a shame he lacked the faith needed to make a difference. This man's a fucking what? monster. You are Haku. Giving your life for Palakana is the highest of honors. But it would seem your friend was at odds with this. A true Haku wouldn't think twice as Palakana's sage. I must say, I'm... Oh, your friend who committed ritual suicide for my cult? Toby. He didn't succeed in killing you first, though, so, like, I'm disappointed in him. When Akane-san fled Japan and ran off to Hawaii, it was your group that gave her shelter. In a way, I feel like I owe them for that. Though what's more, its people took care of me, too. Dang. I'd probably have starved to death if not for them. For all they've done... We felt someone should return the favor. That means taking it back from you. Dear me. You really don't understand how faith works, do you? You claim I'm abusing the faithful. But is Palakana truly all that different with me in charge? Bryce, it, it is. It is. Before you were in charge, it wasn't a murder cult. It wasn't tied in with criminal factions. And the Holy Land was not being used to store huge amounts of nuclear waste being trafficked by Yakuza who no longer have the option to go home and have to work in the mines of the nuclear waste island. It wasn't like that before you joined. It is fundamentally pretty different, Bryce. Believers are asked to trust in some imaginary god, then pushed to do charity work and... Of relief. Also, before you took charge, the, the religion was run by, and this is a wild idea, someone who believes that the religion's god is real? As opposed to someone who will go, oh, some imaginary god. See, a religion tends to work best when them. run by people who believe in the religion. What? Am I wrong to think so? Yeah, you are, Bryce. You are wrong. <laughs> they choose to die for their salvation. The problem here is entirely their own. Uh, Maybe religious fanaticism's like a thing where you've used your power to to whip up a frenzy, though, answer. Bryce. Couldn't agree more. You know, I thought I was over this place, and my love for the islands was up and gone. But after seeing all this, I'm more than ready to defend them. Something I don't get: How's a rat like you do all this? You're seriously the sage? I must say I'm hurt. As a matter of fact, I was appointed... No, you weren't! You murdered the predecessor and stole his necklace! 70 years ago now. Wait, what? How old is this guy? Yeah, we were talking about is there magic in this. Because, like, the whole gun backfiring thing we talked about earlier, yeah, you could, like, say that he used a staged gun and, like, set it up. I don't know how you explain that this man has been in charge of this religion for 70 years, plus he was like 40, I think, when he like murdered the, the cult leader and took over the cult. He, he'd be 100 plus. Like, I think like 110, maybe? This is never explained. Back then, Palakana, by and large, was steeped in charity work. Thanks to the sage and his wife. It was, perhaps, the least religious the group had ever been. You might say... No, they were interpreting the religion through... Like, it's like saying, oh, a Christian church that doesn't do a lot of, like, uh, prayer sermons, but does a lot of, like, practice what Jesus preached and go help the sick, the poor, the needy. And saying, oh, they're, well, they're not being particularly religious. Like, it's like, no, they're actually doing what, what the religious figure did and trying to put that into practice in the world. I don't think that's not being religious. Never like a dragon infinite lifespan. More and more uh, wealth, even before Hawaii was annexed into Let me see if, his, if he has an official age. <laughs> this seemed a valuable asset. The Mafia thought so, at least. Uh, so that's the hole you crawled out of. Believe it or not, 
The two groups aren't so different. An absolute hierarchy built off principle, creed, or a set of rules. Now, what is that? A religious organization or a mob family? Tell me, Kasuga, what would you call it? I'd call that twisting your words. Okay, he'd yes. have to be at least 90. Maybe so. But regardless of opinion, my entry into Palakana went right. Hey, Sapphire smoothly. Sunset. I'm doing good. Busy as ever, but see. good. Uh, also, the Lake of Dragon games look so good now. Right, the last couple of them, the, the engine's taken a real step up. They are, they are some nice-looking, crazy-ass video games. I knew quite well how to conduct myself, especially in those kinds of groups. It took time to garner trust, and my ascendance to Sage certainly didn't happen on its own. I mean, murdering the previous Still, Sage and stealing his necklace helped, but... In the end. So what was the goal? Assume power and rake in all of Polycana's money? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but I only had one goal in mind. This sacred land. Mele Island would be mine. Yeah, so you could make money by filling it with <sighs> nuclear waste. An island in the middle of the Pacific, almost entirely cut off. Yeah, that glow world. is unhealthy. Furthermore, it's owned and operated by Polycana. Religious freedoms protect this place. Um, by I have played Including like a dragon Ishin. I haven't finished it yet. I'm trying to play secure, through it secluded, in between work projects. Mind, the ultimate black box at my disposal. Like it's like a dragon Ishin is a good game. The balance of silly and serious just isn't quite where I crave from the Yakuza games. It's not a bad game by any means. It's it. I'm not feeling quite the same urge to, like, binge the whole thing really quickly. I am enjoying playing it, but it's a different kind of experience. Just oh, issued to what? play it. But the well done. Dump? The waste disposal project is only the beginning. It's a big world out there. And everyone's Ishin's a little mind. more serious. Like, it's, it's not that it doesn't have silly moments, but it's... By nature of being a sort of historical piece, it's harder for them to really push the wackiness um, in the kinds of ways they can in a modern setting. To keep from prying and it sort of forces the shift the to be a little more on the... the on you, a little the more, more straightforward. Need hidden away. Things, people, information... Possibilities about. We get it, Bryce. As long as this island exists, you're, you're gonna you're gonna hide shit it. here. Abby not learn his little scheme from you. Very perceptive. As business partners, it was necessary to provide Ebina with some incentive. And with knowledge of the world's deepest, darkest secrets, we gain an inseparable connection to those in power. You mean you'll have dirt on them? When that day comes. Even my title is overseas. I'm gonna skim a little bit of his monologue here. We we get the gist, Bryce. In a sense, make me a god. No, it wouldn't, sir. Maybe. Well, I'm sure by now you see the value in this place. Yet not all do. It takes a sense of ambition. He, the island's previous owner, the sage. Yeah, the previous sage wasn't exploiting the whole the holy island. Yeah. That charity obsessed fool. He nearly ruined everything I'd worked for. Mele Island was to be sold. The proceeds put toward further volunteer. That sounds like a very good thing for a religious leader to do, honestly. Worse, the deal was well in the works. Yes, he had to murder him and intended to take over and steal the sage title. But no island meant all of this would have been for nothing, which is why. Yeah, you murdered him. I had no choice but to take matters into my own hand. Pity. No matter. I'm sure their precious Nelly embraced them with open arms. You know, I'll bet you just love it. Swindling people for all they've got. But they were one step ahead, weren't they? That fake pendant of yours can attest to that. Yes, the one little thorn in your plan. But dear, I did want to talk about They price. they saw it coming. War you know, fake pendant. Snake you are. That's why the previous sage left a will. You're the last person he wanted in charge. You and that necklace are two of a kind. And if that yeah, this is why they had to kill Lonnie. You kill a kid. 
You think you're on the path to godhood? You're a false idol at best. The girl had to go. However, it wouldn't have mattered either way. Even now, regardless of what truths about me come to light, I have plenty of followers who will remain loyal. Yeah, right. You think people would stick around with a screwball like you? It's why you rolled out every gang in Hawaii. And in the end, it turned around and bit you in the ass, Bryce. The one who really exposed all your BS was you. Though, you did have help. All those years, some people in Polykana, despite you, actually cared. Like how Akane-san cared for Lottie. I'd say that's more than enough talk, wouldn't I you? think so. I think it's enough to more than enough recap of your motivations, Bryce. To interfere in Time the for us to kick your ass. The goddess Nele will not take kindly. <laughs> Seems we've all said what we can at this point. A good punch ought to shut him up. Yeah. A good Thank orbital you. space laser will shut him up. Good. Through that big opening in the ceiling where we can see the moon through. <gasps> You know it's the final fight because the bat tattoo comes out. Price. This ends now. <laughs> Ichiban's combat outfit Have achieved. Nelly's divine wrath awaits. Uh, it's time. I'll do the bartender when I'm low on health. The bartender is a healing pound mate. Um, so I will wait until I've taken some damage before I, I throw the, the bartender out. Because the bartender's bloody expensive to use and I don't want to use it at a, at a, at a needless time. Okay, essence of trick shots. We'll clear through most of these. Oh, I love me a bit of divine sloth. Yeah, Essence of Dondoka Beam. Last throw. Just this one Polycarner Officer, that's fine, we can... Oh, okay, you're resistant to fire, oops. I assumed all of you Polycarner lot were, uh... Um... Up by fire. Uh, Endless Kung Fu will probably do alright, yeah. First patch down in a single round of combat. We got this. Helicopter yeah. elites. Ooh. Again, murdering your you own really your own believers fun. is a really bad way to like actually build a sustainable army. damage output's been real good on this build. Making those ultimate weapons really was worth the time. That's quite a fucking shot, that. Please, please, essentially the Pope of my religion, please help me, please. I've got my hands clasped together. Oops, I'm gonna oozy you in the face, believer. Oh, Bryce. Okay. Essence of Dondoka Beam, please clear out a lot of this for us so we can just focus on... Okay, we're focusing on mainly just Bryce at this point, that's good. Here we go, we're trying to hit. Can we hit both of these two with Cross Slugger? And then it would be just us against Bryce. Let's do this. 
Okay, we can just solo Bryce now. Watch me. Dolphins. Okay, I'll do the heal. I don't really need to, but I'll do the heal on the next. Uh, I'll do the bartender summon on the next turn just because uh, Junji, Junji's uh, a little low on health. I'll show off the fancy but expensive heal. Oh yeah, that's probably enough party damage to... Oh, Junji's down. Uh, will the bartender do a revive? Ah, fuck it, we'll do it. And if we still have to revive Junji after that, we'll, we'll deal with it. Bartender, what is your pound mate summon? I don't know if I ever did this on my my personal playthrough. Okay. Okay, we still have to revive Jungi, but we can we can do that in a minute. Do the dolphin dive. Um Tommy Zawa can do a heal. Oh, do I go past the first aid kits? Oh, we got a, we've really got to heal Jungi up. Although, I could instead throw a basketball at Bryce. Definitely a good use of my time. You know what, let's use one of those seaweed meals. All that fishing we did does allow us to make fresh seafood hot pot a pretty good heal and MP restore to everyone, which means we can get back to doing our big power attacks. So the fishing was worth it, is what I'm saying. What I'm claiming. I'm pushing my limits. I might just let Jungi go down, actually. He's he's taking so many resources to keep up, and he's doing so little damage, I might just let him stay down and not good. Don't worry too much about keeping him rezzed. This isn't like the um, the final boss of the Japan half where I'm going to need all four to have a chance. Nearly down. You've got this, Ichiban.
Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that sword that much, actually, sir. I think we're gonna kill you before you get a chance to use your sword. Okay, you get to use your sword once. One sword swing. Let's not do that again. Think I'm getting stronger. Who knew I had it in? Think I'm getting better. <sighs> it's over, Bryce. We're gonna show the whole world the truth about your little disposal area. Oh, That's nothing but a dump. We're 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 there. We're basically you really done. You believe that's enough? As if it would make all this go away. Huh? This whole operation involves countless other countries, all of which produce nuclear waste. A scandal here could collapse an entire government. You think any of them would allow that to happen? <laughs> Shall I spell it out for you? Those countries need me. Every last one of them is on my side. <sighs> so what? We came all this way for nothing? Sorry to break it to you, but you might want to recount on that. Huh? Shijun? Rise and shine, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait, I guess it's still nighttime back in Japan, huh? Sorry for the surprise stream. <gasps> Tatara channel coming at ya. Oh, shit. The VTuber's doing a face reveal video. <laughs> Go out and spread the word. I'm here live and in person. Now then, you guys VTuber all... in the IRL yep. stream category. The city over here. And guess what? This little work of art's right here in Hawaii. That's not all. It's Bleach Japan's big project. You know, the one everyone's talking about? <clears throat> That's right. I'm smack dab in the middle of their- Chitose finally VTubing project. for good Seriously. and not for evil. You can spread this all over the net, but as long as I have backers, they'll just keep wiping it away. Let's see. According to Ebina of Bleach Japan, the waste disposal process was to use former Yakuza under some very strict safety protocols now. Do I have all that right? <laughs> but what's this? This doesn't look very safe, does it? Well, I'm no expert, but it looks like a dingy old cave, and one that's not even that far down below the surface. You mean all this hazardous waste has just been sitting down here? <laughs> so much for rules and regulations. <laughs> Your face and reveal was cool, <laughs> mine topples several governments. Did everyone watch yeah, the that's, news? Yeah, that's a pretty powerful uh, VTuber face reveal. Was helping out. Oh, what was the name? Polycana, I think it was. And wow, we've got their sage right I love, here. I love that Chitose is still doing the slightly airheaded VTuber. Like, she's doing her VTuber voice. Excuse me. It's the... You're Bryce, oh, right? what was their name again? If oh, it's... Here, then this place is legit. Yeah, wow. This really she, is... She's doing, she's doing the Tatara so voice. Care to explain what's going on here? <sighs> ah, hush, hush, I see. We've got a professional here. All right. Maybe someone else can help shed some light on this. What? <sighs> Hello. Oh, she, she's doing can you it. Hear me okay? Face reveal. Yes. Loud and clear. Who's that? Sapphire Sunset. Here's the gist of what you need to know about this girl. She's got like big old rich parents. But she realized her rich parents were, like, doing some corrupt shit. So she made a VTuber persona to, like, uh, to basically, like, uh, tell the world about all the evil shit her parents have been doing under, like, the guise of, of being an investigative reporter. For a while, she was working for the villain side because of some blackmail, but she's, like, worked it out now. Um, every bad thing that's happened to any character in this game, any of our protagonists, is because she used the evil power of VTubing to ruin a lot of lives while being blackmailed, but she's good now. And that's Chitose. Wonderful. And may I ask your name, sir? <sighs> Indeed. This is Kazunari Fujinomiya. <gasps> oh, this is her dad. This is, this is her dad. What? Fujinomiya? 
That's Chi Chan's. Oh, wow! Chairman of the Fujinami. Yeah, the, the very dad whose business career she ruined by revealing his dirty all, business thank secrets. Thank you for joining us. Right, Fujinomi san My reason but, for calling you today is simple. Like, he did work out that, like, Tatara Channel had to be her, and there's, like, a whole thing in a side story where it's, like, he actually kind of respects, respects his daughter for, like, you know, even though it was me, you did the right thing. I, I kind of respect that, and I, I don't Each want it Japan's to scare you off of project. being family. I'm told the Fujinomiya group is a major contributor. Do I have that right? Correct. Fujinomiya Shipping, a subsidiary of our group, handles the delivery... I'm guessing this is what she ran off to do project. that that ah, last few hours before flying to Japan. And wouldn't explain to Would Kiryu where she was going. Any thoughts about what you're seeing right now? Helping to set this up. Honestly, I find it all difficult to believe. Dad, will you be on my live stream? However, no, we haven't talked since I ruined your company, but you won't be on my live stream. Proper actions where need be. As you're also a key member in this, will you accept responsibility? Do you believe that's fair? Whoa, Chichon. To that end, yes, I believe so. Not only did she reveal her dad's corrupt business dealings, she convinced him to admit to further corrupt business dealings to help take down Palagana. Chitose, I, I, I hesitate to say you've made up for all the fucking lives you ruined as a VTuber. You're certainly giving it a good shot. To those words. Of course. Well, she's she's giving it... A better yeah, attempt to the right. most VTuber you apologies. The chairman said, didn't you? I mean, a declaration like that's gotta sting. It'd take a miracle to cover all that up, huh? <laughs> Chitose's good, man. All those secrets and she cornered right. Just like that. She really stuck her neck out, too. <sighs> well, I guess I just wanted to help out. Also, you should probably... Before we left Japan... While you're being Tatara Chan on this stream, you should probably go also, hey, everything I said everything I said about Kiryu and Ichiban um being evil and like trying to restart the Yakuza and trying to like um do evil shit uh, and like draw Yakuza back into crime. That was all a lie. I I was being blackmailed, I lied. Um those two are good people. I'm sorry I lied about them. You should probably do that, bitch, don't say. I went back to my family. I told them everything that happened cut in a huge fight and I asked if money was really all that mattered and bingo here we are you got billionaires to accept that maybe there were more important things than the money that's the f hey, that's the most unbelievable thing in this game a game that has an animal crossing mini game that ends in you gaining access to an orbital space laser weapon in this game you convincing the billionaires that there's more important things than money and to be honest to the world when not forced to? Most unbelievable thing. There's still one more thing I've got to do, after all. <gasps> yep, they can see me. Here we go. Wait, this next part's pretty important. Ice cam. I've got one last matter of business to tend to. And that is to formally address the mistakes I've made. There we child. go. Oh. Now specifically say Ichiban and uh, Kiryu are lie. innocent. I, Chitose Fujinomiya, knowingly spread false information to the public. Information about otherwise innocent people. Such as Ichiban and Kiryu. So, deliberately manipulated how they were seen. Name some names, Chitose. I to do this. Under the looming threat that my identity would be exposed. You've got to be specific about who That's you lied no about. Excuse. Fact is, I still make those choices. But, I mean, again, look, you're not being specific about who. To everyone. It's a decent apology. For what I've done. For all I've ruined. Truly, I am deeply sorry. Like, you're at least taking accountability with your own human face. I've Again, I've seen worse VTuber apologies. Oh, way better than 
way better than many other apologies I, I could point to. That I could pack up and go if I wanted. You saying that was just what I needed to hear. Thanks to you, I finally found the courage to face things head on. I'm done running from both my family and myself. You're really something, Shijan. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> You've got a lot to answer for. Don't try and sneak your way out now. <laughs> fools. Huh? I said, you're all fools. You think you've gone and done some great noble deed. Think again. Despite what you tell yourselves, nearly every country on Earth sought to make this happen. Of course, <laughs> that includes Japan as well we would purge the world of its nuclear waste and all at the expense of one remote little island that's not a sustainable Everyone plan for nuclear development globally dream i'm simply the one who caught it call it a necessary evil you say we're acting noble you may have stopped me here but i won't let it trouble me not one bit you're a covetous little nest of ants, clasping for power. To hell with the risks, so long as you're not the ones held responsible. <laughs> Let's see what happens. See how you face a world without my influence. Will it call you to embrace the very same evils I did? Probably not. I, wonder. I probably won't Don't you worry, um, steal a religion, turn it into a cult, People and turn its religious system. island into a toxic no waste dump. I could probably avoid like that. Rest assured, they can always find a way through. <laughs> Will the so giant squid sure. eat him? Who can say? The There's a lot of nuclear waste that high. squid could get real big in here. Alas, it seems I'll have to consent to my view through the flames below. Yeah, just in in a wet in a wet cave, like like a mile off the coast of Hawaii. Not a sustainable plan. You're not going anywhere. Not on my watch. What are you doing? I've had more than enough fishing for one day. Last thing I'm gonna do is pull your wrinkly ass out of the muck. Now this cutscene d could not have known how I would spend my time right before. Um. <laughs> going to the finale of the Hawaii chapter. I've had more than enough fishing for one day. Is fucking perfect considering the 45 minutes we spent fishing before coming to do the finale. That's... Uh, I've had more than enough fishing for one day, chat. Fucking hell. Your freaky corpse staring at me. I'd rather eat my shoes. Can't just let you die and be done with it. You're not getting the last laugh. If you think you're going out in style, you've got another thing coming. Enjoy your flight, asshole. Nuclear tech is getting better, and hey, it's it's making. Increasingly making more of its waste into stuff that we can do stuff with rather than just waste that has to sit around in a barrel. But also, we're still in a state where a lot of it is this. <laughs> At least in case it in concrete first. I'd say that's mission accomplished. No. We're not out just yet. Oh, he's m Bryce is more than 70. It's 70 years ago that he murdered the leader of a religion and stole their necklace. Okay. At the very least, he had to be 20 or more at the yeah. at that age. For all they did. For all Chitose sacrificed. We need to do our job. He's been, yeah, he's been running the place for 70 years. He's... Feel like we gotta, especially after again, this is why I'm not oh, yeah. ruling out that there's magic involved. I'll say. 
Boy, Ichiban sure knows how to pull it off, huh? Why are you looking at me? <laughs> uh, no reason. Well, here's the other thing. It is implied that there are plastic surgeons on that island. Um, because one of the Palicana people mentions, like, I saw it someone. And, like, it did not look like the kid I knew from the orphanage. But those eyes, I would recognize those eyes anywhere. They did something to disguise his face, but I know it's him. Um, and, like, it sure seems like plastic surgery to disguise appearances and to sort of update appearances is a thing. And that might contribute somewhat to the appearance. But, like, yeah. Maybe it's just, like, um... The rich people thing of like, hey, I got myself injected with like the blood and stem cells of of the youth, uh, to to rejuvenate me for a bit. <laughs> Sounds like we're ready. Fine, just so long as we don't get cocky. Sure thing. Time to roll, Kiryu-san. Yeah. Got it. Okay, and this is our last uh, time being in. Japan. This is ready for the Japan uh, finale. Now, I'm going to wrap up for tonight because I need to go get some sleep. But Wednesday's stream, we are going to finish Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Uh, we got we to gotta craft those two final weapons, which we have all the gear to do now. Um, and then we just go to the finale and we go finish Infinite Wealth. I'm a good so, uh, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, come back on Wednesday. We're gonna finish Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. We're gonna do it. We're gonna finish it. It's gonna be great. And then starting Friday, we're gonna stream a bunch of small things again. Um, I'm probably gonna stream some Bellatro because I've been real fucking in into that game and I haven't streamed it yet. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff. I want to stream the Crab Souls when it comes out next week. I want to stream some Botany Manor. I got a whole bunch of stuff on my plate. Have a good rest of your night, everyone. Bye.